Yes. Welcome back and good evening for another episode of Once Upon a Witchlight. Uh, as always, we would really appreciate it if you would like the video, subscribe to our channel, and check the bell so you never miss an episode. Uh, this week, I've picked a wonderful selection of quotes uh, from episode 34, which is very exciting. Um, and I even threw in an extra one because I couldn't decide and narrow it down to just four. <clears throat> Quote, I can't believe meeting the King of Hearts and turning into Muppets happened in the same episode. <laughs> and somewhere in the middle, Kremi actually acknowledged that oh. Gideon is his husband. Be a beautiful fever dream from start to finish. Aww. Aww. Number two. Everyone, including Twitch chat, was simping for the King of Hearts. Meanwhile, Gricko's singing Shania Twain, that don't impress me much. <laughs> Literally Gricko. Number three, I will never be able to recover from the mental image of Gary Goodberry leading a pack of Muppets in a sacrifice of a goat. <laughs> Dear Lord, I'm now a changed man laughing so hard it hurts. Kali Ma, folks, Kali Ma. <laughs> Number four, the entire Muppets section felt like something out of Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. <laughs> and lastly, when Muppet Gideon went, ah! I felt that. I don't know. I, I don't know Muppets. <laughs> well, let him so thank you so much. Please leave a comment below, and maybe next week yours will be included in the. Uh, honorary reading of the comments. Uh, but in the meantime, please check out our Patreon and also the merch shop. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you. We're sponsored by Audible. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna say that right there. <laughs> We're sponsored by Audible. Oh. And we want you to read to read audiobooks. Isn't that great that our culture has redefined what reading means? <laughs> so when you just listen to someone talking to you, even if you didn't pay attention, oh. it still counts as reading. So why don't you improve yourself with some audiobooks? Use our special link in the description <laughs> and in the chat to get yourself two free audiobooks. Two credits for audiobooks. You can keep even if you don't uh, finish your trial. You also get a month free trial. So make sure you use the special link and, and listen to some audiobooks. Gary's pick of the week <laughs> is oh it's it's a good one, folks. Oh no. It's a USA best-selling author, CM Nacosta. It's Morning Glory Milking Farm. <laughs> a monster bait romance. <laughs> read by MK. And a little bit of the description. A little bit of the description. Violet is a typical down on her luck millennial. <laughs> Mid twenties, overeducated, and drowning in debt. Very classic, folks. Relatable. Relatable. <laughs> on the verge of moving into her parents' basement. Except for the overeducated. Well, yeah, yeah. When a lifeline appears in the form of a very unconditional job in the neighboring Cambric Creek, mm. she has no choice but to grab it with both hands. <laughs> <laughs> This is a good job or something. I'm going to skip ahead. The clientele is grade A certified prime beef with the manly meaty endowments to match. <laughs> so anyway, everyone pick up Morning Glory Milking Farm uh, and whatever. Don't pick that one. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Have, don't yeah, don't tell them the answer. The cover is very <laughs> yeah. Don't use early yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. Anyway, use the link in the description and, and, and get yourself some audiobooks. Thanks. Anyway, bye. Wait, hold on. Hold on. What is this? What is that? I think, I think we're getting some sort of transmission. Space. Out here in the endless expanse, it's easy to feel lost and alone. Drowning in silence and surrounded by the all-consuming void. But for the precious few who truly open their eyes and ears to the cosmos, destiny reveals itself. You learn in an instant that it lies amongst the stars, tugging at the soul, gently but with the weight of infinity. You can see it ahead of you and behind, like a thin silver strand stretching into the past and the future. You can hear it all around you, like an anthem for what you are, for what you were, and for all you will ever be. 
And then, when you open your mind to it, you learn that what surrounds you is not nothing. It's everything. That the stuff you're made of is the universe itself. Then finally, you realize that you're where you're meant to be. And that your hopes, your dreams, your fears, your sorrows, your joys, your life, they're all a single note in the song of existence. The Stardust Rhapsody. In faith, no one can hear you honk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That was okay. Yeah, it was all right. Yeah, it was all right. It was all right. It was all right. That was really well done, guys. Holy uh, shit! What was that? Uh, we, we just put that together in a little bit. Pretty yeah, quick. That was today. Pretty quick. Yeah, that was today, folks. What was that, Andy? Well, that's a teaser trailer for our very new campaign uh, that is coming soon. Uh, July 22nd, I believe, was yeah. the date. Uh, Mace is going to be obviously running it. It's the, it's the return of what we are affectionately calling Mace in Space with the official name of Stardust Rhapsody. Uh, so I that hope you enjoyed cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so Mace, Mace, yeah. Mace, Coming up the stairs, and we were like, "Wait, <laughs> stay down there!" Yeah, stop, 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 weird. stop. She just stood at the top of the stairs, and I was like, "Am I not invited this week? What's mm -hmm. happening right Go now?" Go home. Yeah. Go home. <laughs> yeah. So Holy that was shit. fun to make. I hope you all enjoyed it. Yeah. Tune in. Oh God. Oh, been... We should beans oh. it up. It is definitely the time yeah. for beans. <laughs> 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 you know my favorite part about this uh -oh. is the look of desperation on Rich's face. <laughs> please, please, please. It is a level of say. power that not even DMing can give. The holding of the beans. Roll that beautiful bean footage, Rich. Once upon a witch light hour, the sleeping queen stirred in her tower, and through grand halls past lock and key, came to her slumber dreams of three. The first brought laughter filled with fright, the second, love defiled by spite. The third, a world of pure delight. She welcomed these, they were her own. But soon from porcelain lips a groan. Her silvery dreamscape now forsaken. To pain from which she'd not awaken. Something blighted had come hither. Foul as nightshade creeping thither. From yon the grave-like curse did wither. The little prince wept in his spire. His wounded heart had one desire. A ballad from the dreaming queen could turn his maelstrom mind serene. He vowed her rescue, speech sincere, but toys would be his shield and spear, and so he scoured for one full year. In springtime wreathed in parenthood, the prince first found a toy of wood, a doll set, beasts and wild things. But listen close and each one sings. A song of child, owl, and bear, a song that calls the spirits there, a song for monsters with much hair. When summer heat steamed like a kettle, the prince then found a toy of metal, a rocking horse with ashen mane. Around its neck was draped a chain. Its horn and eyes and nose shoot flame with mighty hooves and sturdy frame. No better steed one could proclaim. He searched from autumn's harvest throne. The prince then found a toy of bone. Lettered blocks stacked to the sky, when turned to words could only lie. Deceit known to the hounds of hell makes for a potent hex or spell of souls, of sin, of shadow fell. Through winter's chill from peak to pass, the prince then found a toy of glass. Marble spun in measured motion, like careful thought or certain notion. Each glinting cat's eye seeing all, from stars beyond the cosmic sprawl, to inner strength, 
and minds recall. When season stopped, the final day, at last the prince found halves of clay. He shed a tear. This would not do. His favorite toy was split in two. It stank and had a horrid face, but in his heart held special place. Through toil this crack he would erase. The day has come, no time for rest. The fateful toys placed in a chest with stripes of white and stripes of red, just like a big top by his bed. The little prince prepares a flower for either outcome, sweet or sour, and makes a wish for love, for power, once upon a witch light hour. Time that you should have already been doing this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, would you guys like to roll for your dreads while I do yeah, this? Yeah, perfect. Uh, Thank you. Jeffrey Bezos. Jeffrey Bezos. Jeffrey Bezos. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm unfazed. Uh, at this point, <laughs> what might look like fear or confusion is really just I let it pass the room yeah, because yeah. it's all just the mind. Fear is the mind killer, right? Yeah. It all really of it, is. All of those emotions are the mind Rico, killer. What did you get? Is that little death? I got a shit a sixteen. Torbeck. Oh, I got me. Okay, cool. Frost. Nineteen. Three. You got a nineteen. Ah. Gideon. Eighteen. Grammy. Four. 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 Cool. Uh, I will figure those out in a moment. Um, <sighs> last time, and once upon a witch light, you found yourselves in the presence of a king, the king oh. of hearts, the first archfey that you have encountered so far, though you know they exist in this realm. There was no way to prepare yourself for what the experience of meeting the King of Hearts would be like. And he sent you on a mission, giving you a gift, a set of pawns with a heart shape on the top that function as communication devices to allow you to be able to reach each other no matter what it is that you're doing. He provided this gift to you as a peace offering hoping that you would, within a 13-day time limit, traverse the entirety of Prismere, obtaining from each one of the hags some token of their power, past, present, and future, and deliver it to him on the 13th day at the gates to the Castle of Heart's Desire in the very center of Prismere. And then he took his leave. And you were left with many unanswered questions. But Torbeck seemed to be safe. The fear that the King of Hearts wanted something with him, for the most part, quelled. You make your way further into this area of downfall and begin to wander into the mushroom forest where you meet a sea ladron and you learn of one of the many deals that Bavlorna would make taking away his broken heart and his sadness the repayment was the heart itself removing it and replacing it with that of a goat leaving coral hearts ray with the heart of a goat inside of his chest and no ability to feel emotion and it is here you stand in this moment, beneath the towering canopy of mushroom trees. You look down at this Aladrin as he, as he sits on the grass, leaning up against one of the stalks of the mushrooms, still playing on his flute, having finished telling you the story. And also having given you the information that it has been three days since you competed in Electrum Chef. Not just one evening, but three days have passed. The melancholy music washes around you as the realization of the passing of time fully hits you. 
Overhead, the moon is hanging high in the sky as your conversation with the King of Hearts, though only lasting 30 minutes to an hour, maybe. The time here has progressed significantly. The stars twinkle overhead. <clears throat> Coral looks between all of you, but does not continue to ga- engage in any more conversation as he just watched you transform from Muppets to Men as he gives you this interesting information. <laughs> my favorite novel of Muppets and Men. <laughs> That's my new boy band. <laughs> <laughs> the best laid plans of Muppets and Men. And it's the number ride. two. <laughs> Muppets to Men. Oh, well, that's pretty good. Too. Boys to Men, Muppets to Men. That's pretty good. That's this is my... <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's where you stand. <clears throat> what was your last name again? Hearts Ray. I like chocolate. <laughs> Isn't that a little on the nose? Uh, they should be calling him Hot Goat. <laughs> oh, anyway, sorry that you're feeling nothing. Well, uh, would you like to feel something, or are you happy with the present situation? I'm not physically capable of feeling anything. And it's oh. Ray because of my Manta Ray heritage. Oh. My oh. lineage of... Aladrin of the Ray kind. Uh, hmm. I would have just instead named you Raymond. <laughs> uh, prior to your um, curse, were you uh, particularly angry in individual? Uh, no. Violent outbursts, that sort of thing? Okay. Um, I still propose that we try to aid you in some way if we can. If you make your way up to her cottage and you're able to get my heart back, <clears throat> well, I can think of a multitude of ways I could repay you. Oh. <clears throat> well, that sounds better than for free. Uh, Tormek isn't a doctor or anything, but, like, aren't we gonna need some kind of chest full of ice or something <laughs> to transport a whole heart? And where are we gonna get ice in the swamp? Uh, well, she must be holding in something up there. Like, yes. a, like a cooler. If she even has it anymore. Yeah, it might just be, like... The heart's probably dead, like the flesh is just dead flesh at this point. Uh, Maybe like swamp food, you know, like, not fish food, but uh, merfish, merman Probably be like a raisin by now. (laughs) (laughs) You think she cut this guy's heart out and just, like, threw it in the swamp to feed the fishes and put a goat's heart in his chest just for laughs? Well, unless he, he put, she put his heart back in the goat, we just gotta look for a goat. Oh. Oh. And I think that she would have kept it instead of destroying it. That makes more sense. She did have a book of grudges. She uh, is a collector of things, trophies perhaps all included. Hey, were were you known for any kind of particularly strong emotion at all? No. Oh, great. Okay. Just look for what seems like a totally normal goat. Yeah, it's just a pretty average guy. Uh, Just an average goat. Real helpful. Thank, Thank you. you. You're a mediocre fellow, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, when you got to your mid thirties, you start a podcast with your childhood friends. <laughs> Devastating. I felt the. Well. Well. Will you give us, I, I don't know, a grand reward if uh, we get your heart or something? Yes, he said he had many ways to reward us. It sounded oddly sexual. At the time. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't what? intend it that way. What? Uh, it's hard to read your emotion. When I, it's just... I don't know if I would say it was a grand reward or just a reward. Oh. I mean, that's fine. We're going to be in the area anyway. We can just pick up a heart or two, you know? Yes. While, while we're there. Oh, have you seen a satyr in a cage? Not, not recently or ever at all. 
or ever before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Well, uh, what what's in this forest that you're in? Is there any area of interest we should investigate? Not really. I mean, I guess you're not the wrong right person to ask. <laughs> well, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll check it out for ourselves. All right. Well, I'll be here. Coral. You <clears throat> find your way back and want to, I don't know, get me my heart or something. Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah. If we oh, get yeah. around to it. Yeah. If we find it. I mean, yeah. it might be mermaid food at this point. I'll, but. Well, I'll be here. Well, so, just, just one moment before we you go. Can, uh, you can find me by uh, following the sound of my flute. Well, you, just never, you don't take my breaks? Uh, yeah, I sleep. Oh. Uh, when I'm awake, I play this song. It's the closest thing to an emotion I can, I can get to. And you just don't move. You sit right there on that rock and... Sometimes I pace around. Oh. oh. Have you tried alcohol? <laughs> <laughs> that helps torment sometimes. She didn't take your liver. <laughs> no, that's true. She didn't. I've I've had a drink or two, um, especially when I was traveling uh, after she took my heart. I thought maybe if I saw Prismere in all of its glory, it would spark something inside of me, but never did. Uh, the alcohol didn't do much. Just made me puke. Um, have I had you, a headache the next day. Uh, have you yeah, trod? It's a weird sweat that smells kind of pungent, you know? You're by chance related to a Duncan, are you? I've had a cousin named Duncan. Small once. kid. Real fucking depressing. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> like his heritage <laughs> of, of a coral ladrin would be like a blobfish ladrin. <laughs> You know, those I don't like, think oh, I've oh, ever oh, seen a blobfish before, right. but that's probably more akin to the deep sea eladrin. Oh, that's. Um, if, I mean, if you're if you're feeling this kind of emptiness and and nothing and like boring loneliness, have you considered like making your whole personality and hobby around travel? <laughs> I tried that, yeah. Oh, you did? Um, after oh. she took my heart, I thought, well, oh. if I travel, yeah. I might find a purpose. Yeah, it might be like the location is the problem, not you. Like, yeah. it's not your, you're not the problem. <laughs> yeah. It's, and wherever it's you went, you were, oh, wherever you went, you were, like, miserable. Yeah. Uh. Gringo, that's a perfect idea. The best of both worlds, a personality of microbreweries. <laughs> that's, I'm telling, I, that, I, that's part of the reason I was drunk all the time. Uh, um, there are these things called flights. Uh, you get overly obsessed with pilsners. <laughs> uh, yeah. You I'm not are, sure what the nerves are. You guys are reminding me of Neil. <laughs> Can uh, we get away from this depressing <laughs> coca? What <laughs> <laughs> do? Just, just one last thing. You can go. Uh, uh, before you uh, we, we depart, I want to give you something. I'm going to give you my wooden pan flute that I found. Oh. Okay. Here. Thanks. No, I, we're just, I just want you to remember it, and perhaps you can play a tune on a different instrument if you're, uh, if the fancy takes you. All right. Um, well, I guess he opens up his satchel at his side. He starts reading around. Roll a D100 for me, please. Oh, oh. I, didn't, I didn't expect that. I mean, a little of reciprocity. I just wanted to make sure he wasn't going to become a serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is like the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. <laughs> It's a 66, but if you think 69 would be better, nice. Frosty the He reaches into his pack and he pulls out one single caltrop made from bone. What kind of creature would have caltrop shaped bone? That's very cool. That's very interesting. I'll put it in my pocket. <laughs> Frosty, the embouchure for panpipes is very different from a flute. Do, why do you think? He, he, why do you assume that he can play it? I don't make that assumption. I'm just trying to be. He starts playing it. Nice. Oh, Effortlessly. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> well, I didn't know that the, the, the goat that they found was such a musician. How can you feel no emotion playing a tune as jaunty as that? That <laughs> sounds like Torvik's sex playlist. <laughs> Do you time your moves out to it? <laughs> it's just 40 minutes of that. <laughs> you do the special.
special edition portion right before it? Or, oh no, I'm thinking of Jabba. Uh, that's from Jabba. Yeah. 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 We've had very. With this. <laughs> <laughs> and that alien that had his oddly luscious lips. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> well, uh, like a probiotic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, turn back feel things. <laughs> that was an early awakening. <laughs> uh, Richie, roll a d4 for me, please. Oh, okay. um, four. Mm-hmm. Four. 1997. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it really Corbex was. Corbex never been able to get an ant eater. Imagine. Mm. Oh, this is so funny. Um, I'm going to start giving out your dreads. Uh, <laughs> Perfect. Frost. No matter how carefully you walk, you keep stubbing your toe. If there's nothing to stub yourself on, you step on a caltrop. <laughs> <laughs> and I can drink of this at any time, or does this happen? Anytime. Okay. Oh, yeah. these are ones we can cash in when we choose. All dreads now are ones you cash in throughout the course of the episode. Perfect. And so that way you're not forced into them for long periods of time and you have some agency. Um, Gideon, you become a proud nudist. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Rich, I here's mean, a new oh, no. one for you. At random periods, you turn into one of your other D&D characters. <gasps> that D&D character is Briggsy. <laughs> That's pretty good. Well done. I'm gonna. I'll have some meta questions when we get to that. Okay. Um, and then the rest are not done yet. So. Do you keep the levels and stuff. It's just the personality of Brixie. Oh, I have a lot more than four characters, don't I? Uh, yes, but I thought of four off the top of my head, and I didn't want to figure out the rest of your characters or their names, so I went with four. Okay. Can you? Can I ask you? Is that in a Manderson show? Which one? Which four are you thought of? <laughs> Rodek, Toa, Clayton, and Brixie. Oh, oh. good picks. Thanks. Good picks. And Clayton just pumping into this. What is happening? <laughs> Why is Manny a school Gus this year? Thank you. Thank you. It sounds exactly the same. <laughs> Oh. <clears throat> well, well, farewell, Carl. It's been a pleasure. Goodbye. Well, yeah, it was neither here nor there meeting you. I hope uh, you have uh, safe travels in Prismere. Well, have you. a mediocre day. Yeah. <laughs> I will. Um, don't you kill as well. anyone. <laughs> he was that. always a quiet lad. Did not. <laughs> oh, no. He was always, oh, he oh, was always quiet. He just never kept to himself. Quick you know? question, nice guy. Carl. If and when you killed someone, did you put them into the swamp near the Colosseum? Um, <laughs> allegedly, yes. That's so many people. <laughs> uh, uh, Let's get out of here. Really. Allegedly. <laughs> when you hear the haunting melody of coral, you know. Oh, no. <laughs> I and follow the news. The, the haunting musical flute killer has struck again. <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, God! Oh, no! <laughs> uh, the residents of the okay. Soggy Court urge everyone to travel in groups of four or more and don't go down any dark alleys. <sighs> well, we need to go mm. uh, talk about Funko Pops. Uh, Torbeck, you are overcome by psychedelic hallucinations. <laughs> oh, well, you know, <laughs> psychedelic. Got it. Well, wait, what? Don't we need oh, to oh no, Bunko. What the fuck are you talking about, Funko? Oh, that's right, Bunko. Um, Grico, whatever you're doing, you'd much rather be watching the 1999 cinematic <laughs> masterpiece, The Mummy, starring Rachel Weisz and Brendan Fraser. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you don't have to do it right. I have now. a better idea. <laughs> yes, Rico, I'm all ears. <laughs> Torbeck, as he says this, you look at Frost and you realize that he is no longer a tabaxi. He is now all ears. As you watch his ears <laughs> sprout up all over his body. I say we forget about the whole Bunko thing and let's go watch the 1998 Adventure cla- 1999 Adventure Classic The Mummy, showing Brendan Fraser <laughs> and Rachel Weiss. What? Oh. 
Rico, don't be so wild next to Frost. <laughs> Why? No, you're gonna disturb his entire nervous system. I'm fine. I don't know what you're talking about. He watches the ears open and close. Oh. Uh, no <laughs> mouth is there, but as the canals open, this loud suction sound happens as he creates noise. <laughs> Torbeck's gonna throw up. Torbeck, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Torbeck can't look, but can't look away! <laughs> Torbeck! Torbeck! I know, we, we need to get you a nice, relaxing experience, which, I mean, personally, offering the mummy checks all the boxes. <laughs> whenever, whenever I need a classic adventure where I can turn my brain off and enjoy some nice nostalgia with some special effects that admittedly are dated. But there's a charm there. There's what absolutely are you a charm. About, Grigo? <laughs> we got it's shit to do. It's a great adventure story. Why don't we go watch the mummy now and then later, you know, it was the beginning of of, of Chris Rock's not Chris Rock. I can't tell anyone right. <laughs> the, Rock. The, Rock. the Rock, Dwayne the Rock Johnson's career. Oh, even if we had time for that, Torbeck wouldn't be able to relax knowing that Frost couldn't see anything and he would just be listening to the entire movie soundtrack like 400 times. What do you mean I can't see anything? <laughs> well, luckily for him, the soundtrack... <laughs> See, this is my favorite one because you can give him psychedelic. Well, well, actually, that's great. Even if he can't see it, it has a legendary soundtrack and actually won the 1999 Oscar for Best Sound. Oh, At least according to its IMDb oh, face. The ears are eyes, the ears are eyes, the ears are eyes. Oh! What? <laughs> You know, it kind of looks like one of those fuzzy rocks right on the shore covered in muscles that like... <laughs> yeah, and the best part about watching the 1999 classic The Mummy starring Brendan Fraser and Rachel Voss is that, you know, they don't make movies like that anymore. Every time the movie is like, oh, there's got to be some like deep meaning or twist or uh, they're, they're lecturing us. And it's like, no, this is about a mummy who gets out and beautiful people go and they fuck the mummy and that's it. That's it. And when I watch an adventure movie, I just want to watch beautiful people punching on me in the face. And then, ooh, when the scarabs go in, they're like, Wah. As you explaining this to Torbeck, oh, yeah. his you know, like, alchemic putty flesh begins to drip, and he's just kind of like melting in front of you and like shrinking and changing shape, and his limbs are lengthening. And he's, the ears are eyes, the ears are eyes. The ears Should it be doing that? The ears are eyes. What the, the fuck's going on? I don't want to be dealing with this right now. I would much rather be watching the 1999 <laughs> adventure film, The Mummy, starring Brendan Fraser and Rachel Weisz. Well, first, I think that The Scorpion King was a little underrated. But second, I mean, we... we what, we're going to sit down and watch the movie. We don't go to talk to whatever the fuck Illig of Muck Stump. And then he assassinates the king, and then I won Electrum Chef for nothing. Fuck that. So yeah. many days have gone by. We've lost 72 hours. The king could be assassinated already. Oh, we've met, we've missed our, our, <laughs> our dinner with oh, Bab Lorna. We've, we've missed everything. We, we don't have time for a movie. We're already behind. And we, as yeah. he says this, Torbeck, you watch as the ears flap. They're hairy ears. But the hair begins to elongate and turn into um, stumps where the ends of them are eyeballs that are wiggling around and looking at you from all angles. And then you begin to notice that some of them don't even end in eyeballs. They end in mouths. And those ones are talking all in unison. Uh, Torbeck, you, you notice this puddle of Torbeck uh, laying on the ground. Uh, unblinking tears are streaming down his face. As he's trying to drag himself away from this horrific eldritch abomination. Torbeck, it's gonna be all right. Torbeck, just listen to me. <laughs> what? Frosty, why are you going? What? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Am I having a stroke? <laughs> That's what I'm starting to think. Do you smell burnt feathers? <laughs> yes! Yes! Torbeck does! No, this isn't good. I, I need to get to the cure immediately. 
The cure for what? For 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 having a stroke. It's it's watching the 1999 classic, <laughs> oh The Mummy, starring God. Brendan Fraser and Rachel Voss. What is the 1999 classic, The Mummy, starring Brendan Fraser and Rachel Voss? <laughs> where? <laughs> where? <laughs> where? Uh, beautiful people fight the the Mummy King in. Uh, Oh, that's better. Uh, what the hell is the 1999 classic The Mummy starring Brendan Fraser and Rachel Voss? Well, the connecting piece is the dragon. <laughs> what? What dragon, man? Dragon D's nuts! <laughs> as you see Gricko instantly, as in a similar puddle fashion, transform into Chuckles. <laughs> Oh no, I'm crossy face everywhere! Everywhere! Oh, 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 I was getting t tired of hearing about the mummy, the classic from 1999, uh, best, best sound winner from the 1999 Oscars. <laughs> Oh gosh, gosh, I've, I've missed you, fella. The fact that I didn't get to come out, I got to watch that whole Gordon Ramsay debacle. And I gotta say, very mid. Very <laughs> mid. Very <laughs> mid. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah. This happened because you took your clothes off, Ian. Uh, well, no, I don't think that Chuckles <laughs> is like enticed by my naked body. No, I mean, I mean it's a little weird, like, though. Like, summon him, but. Uh, no, I've just been waiting for a setup just so I could loophole. And I'm like, oh, this is very frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> Not a whole lot can 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 hurt me in clown hell, but you know, on getting joke blue ball, that's really bad for a clown. <laughs> that's like that's like uh, that's the the, the uh, silver bolt bolt to a werewolf. Oh. <laughs> What? It's so good. It's so good. Are you still covered in ears? <laughs> no, he can't see that. Only he can see that. Because he's high. Oh. He has yeah. psychedelic hallucinations. So now that Diddy is naked and Chuckles has appeared, Torbeck has like is on the borderline of unconsciousness. <laughs> he he mentally can't handle Torbeck, what's happening. You are laying on the ground, looking up as you watch this ear abomination shamble towards you, speaking in this language you don't understand, and you resign yourself to death. <laughs> as you stare up into the canopy of these this mushroom forest, and you begin to notice things in the, I want you to roll perception check. For my, my, limbs have, my limbs have turned to cement, and I'm stuck to the ground. <laughs> as I'm looking up at the ground, and, and I say, uh, wait, did you say perception? Mm -hmm. Sorry, let me check my. Chuckles, will, I'll look down at, uh, Torbeck, and I'll say, I didn't know that you could secret of Alex Mack. <laughs> That's five whole years. That's 1994. It's five whole years before the 1999 classic, The Mummy, starring Brendan Fraser and Rachel Weisz. Uh, as I lay there listening to this horrific abomination, uh, Torbeck is able to uh, just squeak out a small... Oh, sweet release. <laughs> Hoping for death, and I rolled a 15. Looking up... You see a kaleidoscope of colors in the sky above you, where there had been a beautiful starry night and the large, um, the large orbital moon. You see none of that anymore as you now stare into just what looks like a flowing river of every color and every color imaginable and unimaginable at the same time. But that's not what catches your eyes the most as they begin to focus in you notice that these mushrooms are secreting something a tiny specks drift down from them and you notice them shining almost like glitter in the light on all of your friends as it coats you it is you reach down and you touch it and it feels like it skitters away from you like they're these small um dark but iridescent, like puffballs mm. of spores, and they are crawling all over your like body. Living spores as they as they drift down from the cap of these mushrooms. Everywhere, everything is coated in them. How did you not see this before? Everything is covered in them, and you watch as they move over you and over your friends. You watch as they go into their eye sockets and their ears, as they're breathing them in, and they're everywhere. I mean, I'm just. 
that would just further send poor Tormek down to the, 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 the asylum. Uh, he's like foaming at the mouth at this point. <laughs> Well, I think it's kind of run its course. Get up, Torbeck. <laughs> There's not a whole lot more you can do with that prom. <laughs> you see Chuckle's face in the light, surrounded by the pollen, like, Tor- run. Hey, what's wrong, Torbeck? <laughs> Torbeck can't move, and he just continues to foam as his eyes, like, roll back into his head. <laughs> oh, you need a little bit of a pick-me-up. Hold on. I'm going to pull out a bike horn. Or a, not a bike horn, a bike uh, air pump. <laughs> uh, there's gotta be. There's gotta be. Hold on. Ah, oh, th- th- oh, that's the wrong attachment. Oh, this is. Oh, I have an old hookup. Ah, oh, maybe. Nope. Nope. Hold on. Oh, I found one. I found one. I found one. Ah, uh, nope. Nope, nope. Oh, let me, let me flip it over. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, let me try to flip it over again. Nope, 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 nope. Flip it. How? There's only two ways it can go. Why did it not work when I flip it? USB-C. <laughs> oh, oh, Frosty, you're right. <laughs> You're gonna pop a hose and everything's gonna be covered in witch light. We're all gonna instantly die. Should we be uh, should we be worried about this? Then yeah, what do you do? What he's is, what, blowing them up. What does it do? Like Gideon. Inflate me like a balloon. The air is cool. There's a gentle breeze <laughs> as it whips around your body. Oh the night sky is clear. It is a cloudless evening. And it is incredibly comfortable, nude, standing here. Pretty nice out here. Pretty nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Gideon, you know, after what a big and tough guy you always, you know, present yourself as, I was expecting larger. A little disappointed, <laughs> I've got to hey, say. Hey, it's cold and comfortable out here, all right? And yeah. it's still about the size of your forearm. And he's okay? stressed out, all right? Yeah. I mean, he just went through a lot. There's a lot going on. Not all I'm going to say you, and here you're back. You right? know what that sounds like? What? It sounds like an excuse a bitch would say. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. I do backflips. I do backflips. I do backflips. Yeah, like a slinky. I try and naked tackle chuckles. Okay. I will try to just backflip and slinky backwards in the direction we're supposed to be going for this story to proceed. You, you have been wandering through the mushroom forest this entire time. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. I'm trying to wherever Chuckles thinks, not to leave, I guess. Yeah, I, I think. Get him, Gideon. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, contest each other. What is it? What's contest, contest each other? Contest. Uh, contest it's acrobatics versus athletics. Oh. Uh oh. Is it a little cold? Oh. He's heating up. 25. <laughs> oh, shit. That, that, that's not cool. He's hooked to pump to me. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, just to clarify, even though Gideon is completely naked, uh, the gauntlet stay on during sex. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. all, all three of them. Much yeah. less <laughs> The final gauntlet has been revealed. It's the final gauntlet. They were worried about me in the, in the train. Oh no, no, don't get it on me. Oh, this is, oh God, they miscalculated. Oh, 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 oh fuck, God. oh fuck, oh. Such a horrible, oh. horrible fucking clown. Oh. You're right, oh. Scallion? No. Oh. Quit squirming, oh, don't watch, touch me there. Watch where his face is, get yeah. Oh God. Oh. He's got sharp uh, teeth. Oh, oh. I will attempt to, uh, I'm just gonna attempt to like actually just slinky and slither my way up. Oh god, thank god I have my clown grief. <laughs> and just like basically, I'm, I'm gonna try to uh, uh, like toothpaste out of Gideon's arms. Oh with, god, I've been so greased up so many times in the last 10 minutes, or I guess three days. With everything going to absolute hell, Torbeck would attempt to make eye contact with Kremi and say, Oh, my room support. My room. Like through the through the foam and the conniption fits. Is that is this it for you, Torbeck? Is this your your, your last request? You need mushrooms? I, I guess I'm gonna go to the to the mushroom. Mm-hmm. Is it how 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 tall was it? They vary in sizes, but for all intents and purposes, for the best visual, it's as if you were in a forest, but instead of trees, they're mushrooms. 
And so they're all varying in sizes, but you have some that are towering well above you and you have some that are much smaller and they seem to be in their early stages of life, uh, slowly growing up to the... I want to find like a sapling sized mushroom okay. and just like grab a big, ch- if they're like as soft as mushrooms, mm-hmm. I'm going to grab a big chunk of like the underside. Mm. All right, to a bit. It's just right, right in there. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I don't know why, why you would choose this. Um, um, hey, guys. Oh, yeah, you and you too. <laughs> what do you mean, yeah, I'm here too? I'm watching Giddy Naked Wrestle Clown where you shove mushrooms into Torbett's face. I don't know what's happening here. Naked what's Grease Wrestling you? him, just for clarification. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm just glad he's not talking about that mummy movie anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, in Blade Blade, of course. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why is Grick with body so flabby and useless? <laughs> oh. I'll uh, see what Kremi have having having seen what Kremi has done. I will go over there and I will attempt to um, the same one uh, smack the side of the um, mushroom. And this time, I'm going to endeavor to like collect the pollen that gets knocked out of it instead of like taking a chunk. Mm. Of it. Uh, sure, roll to attack. Oh. Natural 20. Oh! You, um, you were able to run up to this mushroom, and with a very calculated chop, you're able to shake it in a way that you do see uh, spores drift out of it. Um, I need you to roll a constitution saving throw. Okay, that makes sense. No. <laughs> yeah, I asked for this. <laughs> It's gonna be a nine. You oh, an eleven. Okay, yeah, no, it's the same same result. Right. Um, <laughs> you watch as the spores begin to fall down. Um, you weren't really able to get a a read on what they should look like from Torbeck in his state. Um, but you see these really these tiny, uh, dark, almost like fuzzy bits of spores that begin to drift down. I think of uh, my neighbor Totoro and the little soot sprites. Yep. They look very similar to that, just very tiny. Uh, and as you're watching them float down, you don't notice as one lands on your upper lip. It tickles at the fur there, and you immediately begin to <laughs> like you're going to sneeze, and as you breathe in, you inhale it as well as some of the others in the air around you, and you immediately begin to feel tired. You're struggling to keep your eyes open as you blink once, twice, three times. You shake your head, but that exhaustion just won't fade. Oh no! Uh, he's gonna go to bed. He's gonna save the game. We're gonna skip ahead eight hours. We <laughs> gotta go, Frosty. Stay awake. Stay awake. <laughs> stay awake. We don't have time to lose. We need to get back to the VHS player immediately and watch the 1999 classic, The Mummy, starring Brendan Fraser and Rachel Weisz. Oh. <laughs> uh, I run after Chuckles, and I'll say. Uh, Wait, hold up, hold up. No, Chuckles, this is Animal Crossing. This isn't Harvest Moon. Animal Crossing's real time. We're fine. <laughs> I kicked Frost oh. awake. Do I wake up? You're not necessarily falling asleep. Oh. You just really want to fall asleep. You're incredibly tired. Uh, he kicks you, and it does jolt you, but that, that feeling of overwhelming exhaustion, it, it almost feels as if you've been up for two days, and you oh, every time you close your eyes, you're right there at the very edge of sleep. <clears throat> Where if you blink just a second too long, you'll be out. Can you use your fucking mind to speak to me, please? 
<laughs> yeah, what are you saying, man? <laughs> For some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I thank you. Uh, no, I, I, uh, what do you mean? I'm, I've been talking to you this whole time. I'm trying to describe that the, the, the spore pollen, what Torbeck was indicating, they made me very tired, but perhaps they'll cure his hallucinations. No, I think, I mean, you're speaking some kind of like raccoon folk language. I met a guy once that sounded just you like mean when I speak out loud, it doesn't sound like this? No, it mind. doesn't sound like you. It sounds like that raccoon guy. <laughs> hmm. That's odd. I owe him a lot of money. <laughs> oh, are we having a mind conversation? Oh, wow. Hi. Welcome. Hey. <laughs> oh, we're all I didn't know you could do that. I was, I was bored running away from Gideon. You're a psionic. There's clown. a lot of sneaking. Oh, well, I mean, my fat, my magic is fiendish in order. I mean, I mean, it's very psionic. Uh. <laughs> Which even magic, I don't know if you've heard. <laughs> Anyway, what's up? <laughs> I don't know. You just want to hang out now? Or what's everybody you doing? To continue to, to, to torment Gideon? Will you help us with uh, perhaps solving Torbeck's puddle problem? Uh, I don't really care about that. I want to find a goat so we can cut his heart out. That's all I'm here for. Oh, well, well. And to make that dragon deep nuts joke. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Yeah, that was great. I can't believe I very subtly, I subtly manifested that into Gricko's mind. Well, we I'm are, gaining power. Roll a constitution saving throw for me, please. Oh, I think you should twist it. Torbeck got a six. I think Torbeck should twist it. Yeah, twist it. This is running some course. I'm going to change out my. uh, Oh, no, use use the good one. Because I rolled a two like eight times. This is the good one. No, that was. I don't don't know why it's in there. No worries. Oh, Oh, that's a 12. Slightly better. Uh, You look up. You're no longer listening to the world around you. You're staring up at the beautiful sky and the way that it shifts in colors. And you watch as these <clears throat> little bits of uh, spores just float down around you. And as they as they drift in front of your face, you hear tiny voices. Breathe us in. Breathe us in. Be our host. <laughs> and you begin to breathe in. Yeah, I, I've basically oh, no muscle mouth. control, but I, I, try, I tend yeah. to take a deep breath. You open your mouth and you begin to I try to like snort them out of the air, yeah. And you fill your lungs full of these spores. Oh. And you immediately begin to feel tired. Your eyes are heavy. Your You feel comfortable on this ground. It almost feels like a soft cloud. The way that it cradles around you, your body begins to sink into it and support you. This is the coziest and most comfortable you've ever been, and all you have to do is give in to the sleep. Just close your eyes and rest. Does he start to look better? Hmm? Is he no longer... I guess he was just emotionally I mean, a puddle? all of your dreads are up to you when they stop. Oh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not joking. <laughs> oh, say what you need to say. <laughs> you you start and they they are perpetuals and they last the entire session. You start them and stop them as you will. Oh, oh. well, I, that's very impressive power, Torbeck. I can only look look like that flattened out when I get hit by an anvil or a ten ton weight or a jalopy. <laughs> And then my hand pops out, and I grab myself, and I peel myself <laughs> up, and I shake myself, and then I'm fine. Derby, oh. Are you feeling better? Um, I would say, uh, with this with this new sleepiness, the effects of the hallucinogenic curse begin to fade. But Torbeck is tired, and Torbeck would very slowly uh, stand up and kind of brush himself off and return back to the tall, lanky version of himself that he is and look to Frost and say, oh, Tormek is just tired. <laughs> I feel tired as well, but I also feel cured. Gideon, Chuckles, I think oh. you both need to inhale these spores right away. I haven't actually felt the need to be naked for quite some time. I just <laughs> left all my clothes back there, so I got nothing to put them on. Oh, you want to go back and get your clothes? You, uh, I'll, I'll get them. Get them. Yeah. Don't you as, worry. as you turn and look around, you realize that the path that you took is not the path that is laid behind you. Oh. The mushrooms that are there look different. There is no 
pathway. And as you begin to look around even further, you realize that you've been retracing your steps back towards the fork in the road, but you've been traveling for nigh an hour now. And oh. You have come nowhere close nine to it. Nine hour? Nigh an hour. An hour. Oh That's, that means God. near an hour, Mace. <laughs> um, and you realize that... <laughs> We've lost another day! (laughs) (laughs) And you realize that as you begin to turn in circles. This place is fucked. That this formation of tree or mushrooms is unlike any that you have seen before. This is not a place you've been. But you are definitely going in the right direction. Oh. Well, fellow, I don't know how to say this. <clears throat> I think that we've been trans- this mushroom forest has become the mushroom forest from the 1996 <laughs> classic Super Mario RPG. Torbeck <laughs> <laughs> mm, was trying oh. to tell Mr. Grammy about the spores. They're alive. Oh, wait, the, the spores that I just fed you are alive? Yeah. Oh, speaking of which, can you pull a constitution saving throw for me, please? Well, fed him crazy living spores? Well, I thought it was dying and it was his final request. I just tried to make good on it. It was, uh, 17. I'm gonna dread you. Oh. Oh. 18. Oh. (laughs) You, um, you look around you and you breathe in and you... you definitely feel a heaviness on your lungs as if you've been breathing in. It almost feels like you have just recently been in, near a bonfire, breathing in the additional soot that uh, fills the air around a large fire like that. Um, but otherwise, you feel normal. I mean, I don't know why you guys are so tired. I mean, if they're alive, I mean, it, isn't all fungus kind of technically alive? Well, this fungus in particular said something to torment about a host, but it's probably <laughs> nothing to worry about. Wait, he fucking spoke to you? Yes, what? Well, uh, to be fair, at the time, Frost was 400 years with weird hair and eyeballs, and what? there's a ghost no. clown, a naked Gideon, <laughs> and something about a mummy. Torbeck's not really sure. Torbeck is what you'd call an unreliable oh. narrator. <laughs> oh, you want to go watch the 1990 film The Mummy, starring Brendan Fraser and Rachel Weisz? That actually sounds pretty nice. What do you think, fellas? Do you want to do it? No, Gideon? what I- you want to watch? What are you in? We got so much other stuff to do, man. Now is well, why fly? What do you want to watch? Well, now is just not the appropriate time. It's completely inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You, oh, you would you prefer rather watch the 1994 oh. classic, The Lion King? Sorry, no, I don't think so. I mean, I don't know where that came from. Starring James Earl like... Jones and Jeremy Irons. No, I don't think we should be watching any movies right and Matthew now, Matthew Broderick and Nathan Lane. He's been so high, he developed into a puddle, and now he's huffing well, soot monsters that want to host a party for him. I, I don't have that, but can you get my DVDs? <laughs> Well, well, where are your DVDs? Man? DVDs what? nuts! Oh, damn it! Damn it! Oh, you know, he does this because he wants me to chase him! He wants me to chase him and he always lets me catch him! And it's I, weird because I'm naked, alright? Why do you want it? Back down as suddenly, uh. And suddenly, oh! 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 What? Yeah. Can you stop swinging that thing around? It's head height for me. <laughs> well, I kept the chains on the whole time, Twig. Yes, the chain on the end of it is very distracting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying not to look, but also, get. I don't feel real tired. <sighs> oh, no, you've been huffing the soot too? Well, Wes crawling around on my uh, hands and knees looking for toads. And, uh,. The little tiny thing looked at me and said, breathe me, and I did it. <laughs> well, I've been missing everything that's been happening. I'm just kind of sitting in that strange room. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Wait, you just sit in a room? Yeah, it's like a black room. Is there a door? Oh, it's just, there's a wooden chair. Oh, <laughs> and it's just, it's just, there. no. Oh, oh no. Is, is there like one window, but it's really high up, and you can't yeah. reach it? 
Sounds yeah. like a scene from Evangelion. I was. <laughs> it was really loud. And wait. Oh gosh, did we miss the whole? We missed the whole thing with uh, with the King of Hearts. I've been in there a month. Like you know, that's a... no, 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 no. No, it's been about five minutes. It's been nine yeah. hours. <laughs> And it's nearly an hour. Right? Yeah, it doesn't mean. We were there for nine hours. No, no, no. It's completely reasonable to think that he said nine hours, but it means kind of like an hour. Oh, so you're like nine? Is that why? Is that, oh. I don't know where that came from, man. It's not the right time. Shocking and oh. confusing. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, I'll be the judge of this. <laughs> Constitution what saving. The hell? What are you doing, man? Disadvantage. Don't do it. I need to. Oh, he did it. Hold Co- on. Constitution, uh, you say. Yeah, disadvantage. Okay. Allow me to. I believe it is a 15. Get in. Okay. Here's a towel. You, you roll it and give it one of those scrunchies. Do you whoa, start that. to do this. Around the waist. And you. It doesn't happen right away. <sighs> But you feel your eyes heavy, almost leaded, as you begin to yawn. Your nose has a slight tickle in the back. You feel almost as if you're about to sneeze, nothing comes. And as you rear back to let it out, it's just the biggest yawn you've ever had in your entire life. And you feel your muscles weaken as you fall to your knees on the ground. It is, you're so tired, it's hard to stand. A cucumber, cucumber. (laughs) <laughs> oh. oh god what did you expect uh, well I wanted to be a judge of that but yes we're just very sleepy I'm tired uh, oh, come on guys we, we, oh, look, if, if we wait any longer who knows what's going to happen with the rebellion we, we have to go we got a whole rebellion you can't grab me I'm just we miss dinner with the hag people are dropping like flies there's no time for this kind of night no, no, no. <laughs> Look, I like Elton John as much as the next guy. Is that Elton John? Oh, Elton John? Oh, shit, I had no idea. Are we lost? <laughs> as I cough up a sit spray that fly <laughs> No, I'm going to go fetch your clothes, and I'll be right back. You can't <laughs> fetch my clothes, man. It's back where we came from. Yeah, it's we're just going to get his clothes. We're mushroom we're tours. Get his clothes. No, I mean, I, I feel like I definitely know where you drop your clothes. Have you even looked behind us? It's like we're in a totally different fucking place, man. Oh, fuck. Can you put the towel around your waist? <laughs> no, no, no. It's I think it's this way. I'm gonna try to find you the kids. Make out. Uh, roll a uh, roll a like... survival check. Julia Clouds. It's kind of like you know, it's a little <laughs> nice and cool out here. Know. Everyone I don't knows that anymore. The uh, best way to regulate uh, your body heat is to protect the back of your neck. Sometimes man. I think I'm the most tired person in all of the Fable Island. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I feel like that right now. Mm-hmm. I feel so like that. Right now. Uh, I think I'm just gonna lay down next to this <laughs> mushroom over here. Why don't you lay a... back against my back? I'm we'll just... sort of support oh. each other. Take... Okay. How about oh, Hoochie? Take... Hoochie, are you sleepy too? Do you want to take a nappy throw? Yeah, nice Hoochie, nice. lay down and let's let's all snuggle up in like a pile. And just, everyone can take a little bit of Hoochie softness. Mm, but maybe oh. we should all be naked like Gideon. He's kind of the odd one out. I, 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 can, read a, I can read us a story. Perhaps yeah. that'll, that'll yeah. put us to sleep. Yeah, okay. Great time, sure. yeah. You were so good at that, Frosty. You were so good at that. Yeah, uh, I need on. you to roll a constitution saving for Gideon. Come on. I got an 11. Uh, as the group <laughs> is... Um, as the group is finding a, a spot to snuggle up on the ground, it's around a particularly large um, mushroom trunk. Um, Hootsie in the middle, everybody leaning up against her for warmth. Um, the moss is spread out across the ground in uh, thick, almost blankets, and you're able to grab them and pull them up over you. Um, as you all snuggle in together, uh, Gideon, you are putting this towel around your waist that was given to you by Frost, and, and as you do, you have been breathing in heavily. You had a kerfuffle with uh, Chuckles. He liked that, um, that took a lot of energy, and you were breathing deeply during this time. And uh, what was your roll? I rolled a twenty-five. And you feel a a pressure on your lungs, similar to that of Kremi. Um, 
but you are able to, you don't feel any additional effects as you watch as your friends all begin yeah. to uh, yawn and lean up against each other. A little Frost bit of power in. nap. This is a quick power nap, fellas. You know, it's yeah, just, yeah. that's all the, all the top successful people, they power nap, I think. I Thank think. the gods we smoke, man. Yeah. Who the heck knew that would be what saves us? I think, uh, I think I heard about it <laughs> on Coral's podcast. Hey, where'd he go? Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll read it. I'll read it. Yeah, yeah, you're so good at that. Morning you- Glory oh. Milking Farm. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter one. Oh. Sponsored by Audible. <laughs> Oh, and oh you I love be- chapter one. You begin to read Morning Glory That's to your friends. That's she said. <laughs> <laughs> well done. It's like you wrote it. As Kremi, you turn oh. from your friends and begin There's to... There's no way that'll fit. And begin to turn... <laughs> they always say that. No, we're going to take a break. Yeah. 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 We did it. We did it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Morning glory. Uh, I Milking forgot. Farm. Yeah, we're uh, sleeping now. After one, this book was given to me by an ASMR when we we're back in As- Ag- Agwe. Is <laughs> who? <laughs> 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 oh. Jessica. <laughs> And you continue to attempt to tell the story as Kremi. You begin to make your way around (laughs) the edges of the small clearing that you found yourself in. You believe that you're going in the right direction as you step between two large mushroom trunks and make your way back. Uh, You rolled an 11? Yeah. You travel for about 10 minutes. Like through the forest <laughs> and then you begin to spin around and realize that you are completely lost <gasps> oh fuck I made an enormous mistake hey fellas can y'all hear me please somebody respond uh, uh, are uh, you just shouting yeah, yeah. yeah. <sighs> can they hear at all nope uh, I'm from the swamp. This is, you know, they're all falling asleep, but I've uh, not breathing spores every day. All right, let me find a way out of this. Okay, uh, let's just uh, retrace my steps here, and I turn around to where I came from. It looks completely different oh, than you remember it. <clears throat> well, I guess if I just keep going, pull out the map of downfall. If I just keep going northwest. I'll eventually hit the road. <laughs> so I <laughs> try to find which way is northwest. Oh my god. Uh, roll a nature check <laughs> at disadvantage because it's nighttime, you're in the middle of a forest, yeah, yeah, and yeah. you oh. have no experience here with this uh, kind of thing. Survival, right? Oh no, nature, you said. Oh, we have to make it extra spooky, guys. Come on. Five. Um, you look up towards the sky, and the night, it is, it is a clear, cloudless night. The moon is hanging low in the sky, but it is bright, and it illuminates a lot of the forest that you're in. You look from star to star, and though the sky here does not look like the sky you're familiar with, you remember that there was always a star that you could follow to get in one in the direction you were going, a north star. And as you look through the sky, you notice an orb of light that looks a little bit larger than the rest. And you imagine, hey, there's a north star where I'm from, probably a north star here. I'll totally give that tracks. one a shot. <laughs> yeah, to you with that roll, yep. that tracks. It sure does. And so you begin to follow that star in that direction. 15 minutes, 20 minutes. 30 minutes pass. No, this, this can't be. This is the same tree. Mushroom tree. Oh my god. And I, there's like a little cloth bundle on the ground that I pick up. It's full of goblin teeth. Oh god. Oh fuck. Bingo, no. 
comes a tongue. No, uh, there isn't. What this is happening? He's making a Blair Witch yeah. reference. I'm, 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 oh. Really nice reference, right? Oh. Oh. Very nice oh. reference. A pity before! Uh, it was a little unclear if it was a tongue or not. Uh, <laughs> I guess that's true. Tongue? <laughs> Question mark. And I'll sit down and I'll just start like very paranoid, like freaking out about like little frog sounds. Um, hearing like a, a distant scream of one of my friends that's probably a horrible hag trying to you know, lure, me, lure me into a house. That's what the cicada is. Ah! 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 One of my favorite comments. I'm sorry if you're watching now. I don't. It's 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 a funny comment where someone was responded to that short and was like, "Cicadas don't uh, screech at night." Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate it. We'll, My immersion is ruined in the world of ruin. Yeah. We'll take that feedback That's and we'll uh, ruin it. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Uh, and you sit down also, and you stare off into the night, listening to the sounds around you. Doing anything else? No, nope, that's it. I'm just gonna wait till my friends find me. Okay. Oh, oh, I feel like this is. We have a nice little. Uh, no, it was a very lovely, very lovely story, Frosty. Thank you. And when she was talking about wanting to have a sticky date. Mm. Oh man. <coughs> and Musa firmly <laughs> followed through. <laughs> That was very. That was a very nice bedtime story. Her hands must be very calloused. Uh, yeah. You can't go to roll a uh, Constitution saving throw <laughs> for me. <laughs> oh, I just heard him. Uh, Frost. Guys, we can't go to bed right now. You roll a Constitution saving throw for me at disadvantage. Yeah, you've been I mean, reading this book, breathing in these spores. <sighs> you've been tired. Yawning. I get a Guys, quit, okay, thank you. Quit breathing in the spores. Yeah, Crummy, did you ever think that smoking? Hey, where'd Crammy go? No, he went to go man, get your suspenders and other apparel. J- my clothes? Yes, oh. that's what I said. Anybody see him walk away? What direction he went? Uh, uh, yes, he went back the way we came. Oh. Well, I guess we'll just call him on this phone we have to stay in constant communication with <laughs> the King Mark's Wow, that's <laughs> remarkable use of your brain stuff. Oh. Well, I haven't been high on the soot dust yet, so... You should give it a try. It's pretty hosty. <sighs> Yo, oh, I didn't know you had a plan with Pawn Mobile. <laughs> oh. Yeah, man, it's pretty easy. I mean, I prepaid for the minutes, but no, I got that, that, Is that full Feywild coverage? I have Sprite. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. Uh, I don't know, man. I mean, it gets a little, it says it's full coverage, but to be honest, in certain mushroom forests, it's a little spotty. Man, you guys, I didn't know you guys were doing so well. I, I use cricket. Oh, that's brilliant. I'll pull out like a jar. <laughs> go, go find Kremmy. Go find Kremmy. Go. Tell him, oh. him, tell him we miss him. Tell him oh, we miss wait. him. It's dead. Oh, I forgot to poke holes. <laughs> Torbeck, what do you use? Uh, <laughs> Torbeck will just take the pawn, like not understand how it works, and like stick it deep in his mouth. Uh-huh. He'll be like, mm, can you guys hear Torbeck now? No, no, no it's no. even worse. No, you can all hear. You, you have to take. You just speak into the chest piece. Uh, uh, can you hear Torbeck now? No, you sound all no, garbled no. and choppy. It's like you're using AD and D. Hey, you guys should get on uh, Faye TNT. Oh, yeah. 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 Also, oh Faye TNT. Yeah, that's more diegetic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the Torbeck will spit the pond out. Good word. Good word. Yeah. Uh, uh, do I hear any of that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, yes, yeah. you do. Grammy, are you there, man? Oh, my God. You, I don't you forgot about these. Immediately, in your pocket, you immediately hear the garbled voices of your friends. And it takes you a moment, but you you reach down and you pull out this chess piece, this red pawn with the heart shape on the top, and you can hear your friends. Grammy, are you there? Over. Yeah, yeah. Well, well you guys. We, are, we haven't moved at all. No, don't respond. You got to wait for him to say over, over. What? Wait, We're not what? doing that. No, no, just because Grico does that doesn't Grico matter. said this is how you do it, man. How are you supposed to communicate if we don't follow the rules? Yeah. Over. We're, 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 we're taking a nap, Kirby. Over. No, I mean, I'm, I try to get back to you guys. Did you guys move? I mean, I've been walking for like a, like at least 60 minutes. 
and it, I, I keep coming around to the same tree, and and I haven't made any fucking progress. Oh. Don't, don't make misses, Mister Crammy. What's going on with <sighs> yeah, Crammy? We, we have to stay awake. Yeah. Yep. Oh no, guys, please don't go to sleep on me. Crummy, I'm falling asleep, man. I'm falling asleep. Man. Where I'm falling asleep. Hey, whatever you do, kid, keep him away. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Uh, I don't know. Give, give, him, give him some whiskey or something. Is that, no, that's not going to do the opposite, please. Do you want me to send a pick to you to find a crummy? I walk, up to, I walk up to Frost and I kneel over him. Uh, still completely naked. Uh, I just start shaking his ribs. Oh, stop, Frost, stop wake up, man. No, 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 no. Come on, I need you. Please, I need you yeah. awake. Frost. I need you. The feeling of being <laughs> the feeling of being shaken mm-hmm. is Jesus. similar to the feeling of being um, rocked in the womb. Naked wrestle. And you mm. have breathed in <laughs> a lot of spores. Mm. And as Gideon shakes you, it actually has the opposite effect as you drift off to sleep. No, Frost, stop moaning pleasantly. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, uh, we lost Frost. Uh, Gricko, I need you to roll a constitution save throw. Oh. Oh. No. Uh, and Gideon, I actually need you to do as well, but you're a normal. Uh, and yours is a disadvantage because you're already sleepy. Oh. Me. No, like that was I was looking at Mike when I was looking at you. You're making like straight eye contact <laughs> like, with me. I'm like, mm. that's a Mikey move right there. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you don't. So let's put that squirrel over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Red Mr. Deeds. Uh, Mr. Deeds, he's fourteen. <laughs> that's so good. That was all right. That was all right. You shake Frost, and as you do this, the spores. <laughs> that have been clinging to his robes begin to puff out into the air around you. And as you watch him drift to sleep, you inhale some and you you begin to sneeze. Um, But you... um, You feel your eyelids grow heavy with sleepiness. Oh, no, man, wake up. His body is Uh, warm, and uh, you feel like he would be the perfect person to snuggle up with if you fall asleep. Oh, you're so snuggly. Uh, No, I mean, wake up. I mean, wake up. What are you nine for Gricko? Okay, thank you. All the soft, dulcet tones of your purring is really don't give a tucker, me out. Please, kid, do not go to sleep. Oh, do. do not go to sleep. All right, uh, you understand? Are you, you so tired, me, man. You want me to send Pig to me to go find Crimmy? Can I hear that? I think that I mean, can, is Pig Tunia gonna be okay? We're kind of well, all falling asleep. Pig she, uh, Tunia is connected to me in a way that no other thing is connected and so if mm. she could find crummy then she could lead him back here through anything does oh, peculiar like crickets yeah she eats them i have a jar of dead crickets <laughs> not anymore she's been eating them for two minutes <laughs> <laughs> nice appetite <laughs> and it's as you say this that you fall asleep with the jar of uh, no no more crickets in class, classic cricket bobble <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, uh, here, aren't I? Quick, send pig to you if you can. Okay, but you want to cuddle and go to bed? You get, are you going to go to sleep? Is that what I hear? No, I'm not, I'm not trying to, man. I'm waiting for you to come back. We got to get out of here. I think it's I'm really it. late. So much, is it? It's so hard to tell. I don't know. The moon's getting low. Uh, you know, get if you were lost in the woods and I was with the rest of the group, I would do everything I could to find you. Oh, man. Well, but it's that, whatever. It's fine. All that guilt is giving me a second win, baby. <laughs> You, you are tired. halfway t- you, you can still accomplish things. You're not asleep like the other two. Okay. Should I follow Pig to me and see if we can find Craig? Yeah, you want, me to, me, and you want me to come to you? No. You should stay here. I mean, yeah, probably. Actually, you would be very helpful. So you're the no, most no, powerful bring, one. bring Twig. Yep, yep. Yeah, okay. yeah Twig, come with me. But Torvik was no, under Torvik, the you impression that Twig <laughs> had to remain here to bring Petunia back. If Petunia is with Twig, then how will you all get back? Um, well, the, couldn't pick Tunia then just find you? Twig? <laughs> no, she's connected to me, not you. Oh, Torbeck thought so. <laughs> 
Well, so you want me to come? Does it make any sense to leave, leave Pigtunia here? And then just you and I go look for Crummy? Or is she like well, a super crummy sniffing truffle pig? <laughs> She's definitely crummy sniffing truffle pig. Oh, damn, but that's cute. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Does Crummy have truffles growing in his pants, too? Hey, look. Yeah. Just because I sometimes smell like mushrooms it doesn't mean I'm from the swamp, okay? <laughs> That's a deep cut. Don't fucking imply that just because I'm from the swamp, I gotta smell like truffles and mushrooms. That's when Krabby calls get in and behind closed doors. <laughs> what? A Krabby sniffing, a Krabby sniffing truffle thing. Oh my god, I'm about to blush a little bit. Jesus oh, Christ. Holy shit, man. I'm, 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 uh, I feel like I have to go shower. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ooh. So you want me to come or no? <sighs> yeah, Twigsy, let's go find him. Okay. Alright. Let's go. Uh, roll a survival check. Oh shit. Can big two you, you can you can roll it at advantage because you were going with the <laughs> twig and, and, uh, and pig tune, yeah. You got a two and a three. Uh, and I Torbeck, I would like you to roll a uh, constitution saving throw disadvantage. I would be honored. Here, I'm gonna get, I'll show you the good ones. I'm going to okay. roll yeah. these for the moment and get a... <laughs> <laughs> a nine. <laughs> you, I think we all want to wake up as a you, uh, hive mind. You <laughs> open your mouth to tell them, no, don't take, don't take them both. They won't be able to get back. And as you do... A few, a few of these spores fly into your mouth. You breathe them in, and your eyes droop, and you immediately fall um, over onto Greco asleep. All right, good luck. Dormek will never fall up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's sad comforting. It's like when I used to stay over at Uncle Globo's. <laughs> <laughs> The three of you are fast asleep, covered in moss blankets, breathing in more and more of these sm- snores, these snores, these snores, <laughs> as you snore and uh, and sleep peacefully. Meanwhile, seventeen, guided by the heart of the pig, Pigtunia <laughs> immediately begins to sniff the air around. It's, she starts off by sniffing you. Picking up traces of Kremi's scent, she shoots off. <laughs> she shoots off into into the forest. Get the scent, boy. Get the scent. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> he took a cigar. Smell the cigar. More useful. Yeah, the cigar, the cigar. Yeah. Sometimes the cigar is just a cigar. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, the aroma of sweet passion. Thy name is Kremi. Oh my god. Holy fuck. He's got the scent of the cigar. Oh. Oh. Mm-hmm. And she does. Get the scent of the cigar, and Pigtunia darts off into into the mushroom forest. It takes you five minutes before you find Kremi leaning up against the trunk of a mushroom. Oh, I'm not asleep. No, you're not asleep. No. Yeah, he came. Hey, yeah. Well, it was easy. Pig two and you found you in like two minutes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you were like right on the other side of this real. bush. You know? <laughs> oh my god! Me? I was screaming. You couldn't hear me? Nope. All right, let's go find the others. Okay. (laughs) All right. (laughs) You idiots. Pig pig doing it. Lead the way back to the others. What do you mean? Oh, what do you mean? I told you she could come back to me. (laughs) No, but she can sniff out trouble things. No, not anymore because she has crummy center nose. Oh, fuck. Well, most of me's covered in frost fur. Doesn't matter. I was shaking them right before. Yeah, doesn't matter. Her nose is filled with crummy right now. 
Well, so, intents and purposes, it's a once a day action she's got. Oh, 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 like a long, oh, finish a long rest, or like yeah. after 24 hours sort of thing? It's finish a long rest. All right, that's what better, if we just don't do anything magical and we just trust her innate pig instincts? <laughs> oh, I like that idea. Yeah, she could try, but it's not going to work, though. Oh, uh, well, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't she at least sniff out kids' clothes? <laughs> Maybe. You guys kind of smell exactly the same. <laughs> so, I mean, cigars and cigarettes are totally different smells, all right? Yeah, I know. That's why it's so weird. You smell exactly the same. Um, <laughs> she got a natural 20. That's oh! <laughs> she knew you. She was able to quickly get you to the spot where Gideon's clothes were, and you are able to dress yourself. Holy shit. She holds it up. Hmm, I'm getting a hint of. Uh, <laughs> this uh, smells like Alice Coombs. Uh, <laughs> oh yes, Alice Coombs. Plenty of that. Yeah, 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 five vintage. I haven't smelled this scent in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, the Coombs lad. <laughs> I don't know why, but you think this sounds okay. well like that. So what are we gonna do now? Well, first, get get your clothes on, please. I don't know, man. This is actually kind of French. Just, uh, just, I don't I mean, find what Be decent at least. Prude. God. <laughs> you still have that up. towel on your head, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 Towel draped over my yeah. shoulders. Yeah. Superhero. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I put my clothes back on. Well, that's pretty good. So, uh, what are we going to do now? Well, I guess we're stuck here for eternity, or at least until you finish a long rest. I guess so. So either we uh, die here in the night, or we'll find them in the morning. So you want to just go to bed, and then I'll have a picture, and you sniff them out in the morning? Oh, I mean, I don't know what other choice we have. Shit, I can't think of anything. I really <laughs> thought Big Tunia was kind of like, just solved all the problems, but... Well... Oh, do you think that's what Torbrook was trying to tell us for what to sleep? I don't know. I mean, he was, was he gog- saying something? He was goggling. Yeah, he was saying that. Do you think it would be important for Twig to stay here because the pig tunia? And I thought, why? How do you I, can, I can just have the pig tunia go wherever I want and tell him what. Why do I need to be here? Yeah, that chest piece in his throat. How do you understand the word he was saying? Oh, I don't know. I'm kind of used to her talk to pig. <sighs> Damn. Can't believe I'm gonna say that. I should listen to Torben. Anyone else think it smells like Pennsylvania in here? <laughs> what the fuck is that? I don't know what you're talking about. That. It's talking about the trees. No, 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 I, I, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't, know I don't you get mean. this reference at all. Yeah. Oh, it's your clothes. It's definitely my Gross. pants. Yeah. <laughs> what was I supposed to do, Twixie? They were lightning in my dick. I can't have any kind of reaction to that. Why did you just say that? To me. What? You were there when it happened for most of the part. I mean, the lightning uh, me so hard I passed out. What does that have to do with why you smell like pistols? Just, just like that one time I was at a house party at Dave and Mustard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. We are still going to get sued. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. I'm just like, no one's going to understand I, I, that. I was so hard. I'm so glad, I'm so glad no one will fucking get My it. My goodness. <laughs> oh. Well. We're dead. So, right? I'm I sweating. Start, yeah. I have to start writing a new character. <laughs> <laughs> I've been taken over by some sort of host sport. <laughs> Do. Oh, fuck, yeah, didn't he say they were whole spores? I mean, we definitely can't let them sleep through the night. They're gonna get fucking spored. Mm. Well, I mean, did you hear him speak, or is that just the drugs? Well, it's hard to tell. He's kind of always on that's drugs. That's the problem with the drugs. You never know what's real and what's not. I guess you could say Torbeck's not a problem with the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't Gringo also say something about them being old spores? And then yeah. Frost say they talked to him too? Gringo's also not a reliable narrator. Well, that's fair. Oh, oh right. Hey, guys. Oh, you're fucking all asleep. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> this is getting worse and worse. Uh, 
Uh, All right. Well, in the meantime, I'm making waffles. <laughs> <laughs> I'll roll over onto the onto the 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 pawn, and like my hand will hit it, so I'll just leave it on. <laughs> Man, it was so cool when the face was in the sandstorm. That's a fucking bad moment. We gotta solve this problem. Yeah, we're yeah, we really a puzzle. I can't fucking solve it. You want blueberries in yours? Get or bananas. You want know, chocolate chips? Yeah, I can do chocolate chips. Yeah, chocolate chips. Okay. I need you both to roll a Constitution saving. Throw. Was it ever confirmed? Did Hootie get the spell? Uh, a disadvantage. Oh, she did. Her okay. eyes just kind of your rolls as her. She's okay. just like yeah. you. Oh fuck! I put the spores in the pancakes. A disadvantage because uh, mm-hmm. you've already you already have failed one. Oh, so you're already that? tired. No, you haven't oh, failed. Oh, uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh, I'm feeling wide awake. Oh wow, this tastes like Beezleberry. <laughs> Thirteen. Shit, you're making Beezleberry you, waffles. Uh, as you are making, <laughs> no, um, as you are making these waffles, oh. you are. Your mind shifts. You are now in chef mode. And you're so Ooh. focused on making these waffles and making sure that the batter is exactly as it needs to be and that there's the right amount of heat on the pan and the right spots and that you don't overcook it so that it sticks to the pan <clears throat> that you forget to worry about the spores for a bit. And you breathe in a bit too many. And you begin <clears throat> to feel yourself getting tired. You burn your hand on the pan for just a second as you start to doze off. <clears throat> Got a nine. As you, Gideon, begin to eat these uh, Beezleberry waffles, <laughs> you take a bite Indulge. and the taste <laughs> is so... Enjoy while you can't say our name. Cover me <laughs> in poisonberry rice. <laughs> 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 The ego of the ego. (laughs) Shall not let go of this ego. (laughs) Feast young child. (laughs) Beasel in the morning. The Beasel lore is so deep. Much like the Beazle themselves. As you as you listen to the um, the gentle voices of the Beazleberry, you find yourself forgetting to chew as you begin to fall asleep. Your head drops forward, the Beazleberry waffles fall out of your mouth. You don't choke to Oh, on them. fuck! Literally, like, spider legs just, like, clamping your face. Your, your eyes get up! Your eyes close. Your sweet lullaby, Beazleberry. You begin to snore, Same. and you find yourself fast asleep Come on here, big tune, yeah. Oh. Gideon! Gideon, wake up! Gideon! Oh, no. oh God. Not him, too. He's fast asleep. Uh, well, what do you want, Twig? You want Beezleberry? No, I'm not hungry. I oh, like a right. couple frogs. I made a lot of waffles. Uh. <laughs> Behold my stack. <laughs> Marvel at my stack. There is freedom in the slumber. <laughs> Shot, we're all, we're all just in the Beazleberry. We're all Beazleberry. Yeah, 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 yeah,
Yeah. It's one of those things where we get a series of just in the moment decisions to get out of hand, like yeah. chuckles, like the existence yeah. of chuckles. Yeah. Well, it's like uh, they show up with a carton of bezel berries, and Derek's like, and only 80 people had to die to claim it. <laughs> <laughs> only 80 I people had to fall to the, yeah. uh, <laughs> to, the, to the might of the oh, bezel. <laughs> Thine culinary Iron Maiden will herald your doom. <laughs> Shut up! Five <laughs> minutes on each side. <laughs> Why do I still go with these fucking things? <laughs> the horsemen ride. Four is their number. <laughs> on steeds of Beazle. <laughs> Movie to A24, and no one can it stop sounds, me. It's, someone said chat Beazle merch. Like, yeah. why don't we have Beazle? No, I already, I already have it perfectly envisioned in my head for the Beazles. Yeah. Well, you, just, you just keep it for the wraps. It's a Beazle yeah. plushie with all the different knobs and ends, but it's made of burlap. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Oops All Beazle Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's just oops all bees on there. Please, please, And it's like in the bowl, it's growing out onto the person. Be like, look, Captain Crunch, he's like covered. He's like a, a, from the flood, like a bezel berry. Yeah. <laughs> Is it like a, a bezel head coming up like this? Um, possible. I'm reminded of this, the, the, the very brief moment in Rick and Morty when he uh, has to simulate Jerry on the phone with uh, the, the the wife's character, and so he activates the device and like a drop goes down into a petri dish, and then all of a sudden a face emerges and has a whole <laughs> phone conversation with the with the wife, and he goes, "I will destroy your world." And says, Stop! I'm on the phone with my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> anyway, Craig, maybe we should just go to bed because we should really get something done this session. So I, uh, I'm feeling real sleepy. I had a, <laughs> a big pasta salad earlier. And... Okay, I'm going to go to bed too if you want to. All right. Okay. And we'll just have Pig Tunia take us home in the morning. In the morning. Okay. Well, Crummy, it's kind of cold. Oh. And and Gideon's got Pictunia oh, under his head. Uh, he, I mean, he's he's forty percent fine. He doesn't need Pictunia. I know. I don't think he's got it for warmth. I think he just likes pigs. Oh, well, I think uh, he just likes Pictunia. I can keep the fire going if you want. Can I'm sure burning these mushrooms has no real effect on our health. <laughs> can um, can I can I can I sleep next to you, Crummy? All right, all right, Twig, you can sleep next to me. Okay, I get kind of scared at night by myself. All right, well, uh, you know, we, we got each other. Okay. And that's a lot. For love. <laughs> we'll give it a shot. We're going to give it a shot, Twig. Yeah. All right, good night. Good night. <laughs> and uh, I would like you, Kremi, as the only person who went to sleep naturally, I would like you <gasps> to roll a perception check at advantage. Oh, fuck. Alright. All right. May I twist this? Yeah. 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 Use 14 <laughs> pounds. Yeah. 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 Oh, Use as many as you can to get to a Oh, no, it's Skull Kid. We're <laughs> <laughs> fucked. It says 12 days later. You wake up. <laughs> Uh, oh god. Oh god, I can't put my character sheet. Oh, there it is. What does it mean? Me, me. What does it mean? Oh, but. What does it mean? Perception is a 23. Oh. <coughs> the rest of you. Dream a dreamless sleep. Oh, that's quite nice. An incredibly comfortable, cozy sleep. Crammy, your sleep is dreamless as well. Oh. Yeah. But then you're surrounded by cold. And at first, you begin to dream of an icy landscape. Ooh. You're trudging through the snow. And then you begin to hear voices. <clears throat> you look around you and you see nothing. You see no one. And then you see flashes of green off in the distance. Trees, much too small to be trees. 
And as you get closer, you begin to feel the fog of sleep lift as your eyes flutter open. You're not in an icy landscape, but in the, the wee hours of the morning in this in this area of the Feywild, in this portion of the, the mushroom forest, the wind whips through the trees and it chills you as you realize that one of your sources of heat is missing. Oh. You look down to your side and where Twig had been sleeping, you see nothing. You try and keep your eyes open. The sleep is, is heavy on you as you've been breathing in these spores while you sleep. You try to sit up for a minute and you, you yawn and blink your eyes a couple of times, try and wipe the sleep from them, but you can't. You hear the sound of voices and you look off through the trees and you see flashes of green, bullywugs. Okay, is that you? And then darkness as you fall back asleep. You all wake up in the morning. You have endured a long rest. Oh! oh wow. Wow. Back to back. <clears throat> You're all in separate blades. The three of you wake up and you <clears throat> see that Crummy and Gideon and Twig and Pigtoon are all gone. And it takes a bit of time, but you, some of you, remember them leaving in the conversation. I guess it would probably just be Torbeck. Hey guys, is this pawn working? Um, oh, this is Torbeck, by the way. Are we awake? Yeah. Fellas. You're all awake. Get up. <coughs> yes, we're up. Twig's, uh, Twig's missing. I don't see. Uh, wait, Pigtunia's gone too? Or no, no? Pigtunia's right here. Pigtunia's right here. I got, I got uh, Twig's missing? Twig's missing. Well, Twig's, Twig's just right here. Not the only one missing. You guys are missing too. No, no. I mean, I guess he was asleep, but we split the party very foolishly. We should have listened to your advice. Well, was surprisingly wise. Is uh, Pigtunia still there with you? Yeah, Pigtunia's here. <clears throat> If that's the case, uh, you may be able to use Pigtonia's ability to find Twig. They have a natural connection. Pigtonia was saying hi to you, man. It's pretty rude to not say it back. No, I'm, I'm just... sorry. Um, I can't that's do terrible. I, can't, I can't do that's it. Te- <coughs> that's terrible, Frosty. Over. You're right next to me. You don't have to. <laughs> How about this? We have Pigtonia find you guys. We'll meet up, and then hopefully the connection between her and Over. Twig can lead us right to him. Oh, I saw, I saw green shapes as I was falling asleep. I think it was Bullywugs. Oh, oh. It wasn't as you were falling asleep. You woke up in the middle of the night. Oh, oh. Um, I mean the middle of the night. Just, I, I will explain the situation just to make sure you have a full understanding of what happened. Because you fell asleep naturally, you had, um, you had more faculties to you, which oh. allowed you to perceive the fact that something was happening. If you had all fallen asleep unnaturally um you would have woken up to just find the twig gone um but in this case you woke up you were very groggy in the middle of the night you realized the twig was no longer by your side and as you were looking around you noticed the shape of what appeared to be at least one maybe two bullywugs darting off into the forest deeper into the forest i got bad news fellas (coughs) yeah over (coughs) i think it was bushwhackers (coughs) You think she was taken? Yeah. And I will say you um, you look around the area that you're in, and there is one other thing that you see. Twig's acorn um, satchel <gasps> is laying partially open on the <gasps> ground. Some of the um, <clears throat> some of the pieces of her inn have been spilled out on the ground. Tiny little teacups and saucers, oh, no. uh, <clears throat> a little tiny uh, croissant. And uh, you do see a few droplets of what appear to be blood. Oh, my God. It's not looking good, fellas. Wait, Mr. Crammy, did you say bully jugs? No, I said bully wugs, and I said bushwhackers or some kind of swamp militia or something. <clears throat> Is bushwhackers also a magazine? <laughs> no! It's cutthroats! Oh, well, sneak up on you in the middle of the night. We need to find our way to you, 
somehow. Is there are there any landmarks or milestones that we can we can find uh, 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 some 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 sort of indication that we can look for to find you? No, I think we're gonna use Pigtunia to get to you. She'll find you, and then hopefully she can then find Twig. If you leave the area where Twig was taken, then we may walk away from clues, trails, and Pigtunia's abilities are. To find Twig, not us. Look, we've been through this. If she comes and finds you, she's not going to be able to find us. <laughs> she gets a rest, all right? She has to sleep eight hours to be able to do it again. And that's why I'm saying we don't waste the ability on her finding us. We need to find some natural way of finding you. I, look, I, I tried for like five hours last night. It ain't going to happen. It was about 45 minutes to an hour. <laughs> it, felt like five hours. <laughs> oh. it was nigh an hour, as they say. <laughs> Nine hours, that's outrageous. <laughs> Do you guys think if I turned into a boar, some kind of boar monster, I might be able to sniff you guys out? <laughs> Over. Oh, can you do that? <laughs> oh, I mean, oh. <laughs> there's, a, there's a variety, there's a variety of, uh, of, of pig-like creatures I haven't encountered and heard of. Perhaps I can get similar truffle creamy sniffers. Over. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, you could probably just smell the front of Frost's clothing and get you right to me. Oh, that's a nice idea, idiot. Very nice, nicely done. You should pat yourself on the back. Just whatever you do, stay together, all right? Don't split up again. I agree. Okay. The three of okay. us will stay together 100%. How's everyone's morning going? Over. I could Twig. use some waffles, to be honest. Tweet's probably dead. And that's not true. Stop thinking down. Dissected, you know, her organs harvested and sold to the highest bidder. Would yeah. Pigtunia still be here if Twig was dead? Would Pigtunia, like, uh, did, you know, this uh, would uh, dis- uh, go away? <laughs> um, that's, a, that's a good point, Gid. No, she's. Pr- you know what? They're probably keeping her barely alive so the organs last longer. Pigtunia, <laughs> you have any innate sense of uh, the health, uh, the health of Twig? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Clemmy, did you say she, she wants some waffles? <laughs> oh, we got plenty. It's a whole pot. Yeah, oh, go, get, go get those waffles. Oh, do they take Jordan, any waffles? We've been awake all night. Um, you notice that a few of the waffles are missing. Oh, oh they're oh, so fucked. Fucks. They're so fucked. Yeah, they won't make oh. it very far. The Beazel stood vigil. Poochie, no, you can't have cake for breakfast. That's terrible. It's the most. Oh, you got waffles and pancakes and muffins? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and waffles. Danishes? I mean, I can okay, make- see, that's healthy. Have a healthy breakfast. <laughs> yeah. See, healthy breakfast. Okay, you can have one rat snack. It's in my... Oh. <laughs> We're all out of rat snacks. Over. We're out of rat snacks? Yeah, we have, there haven't been any rats. We're in a weird frog place. Over. A rat Ooh. skitters by you as he says this. Frosty, get it, quick! Over. <laughs> ah, there we go. Here you go, Red Snack. Oh. Why do I enjoy doing that so much? <laughs> oh, Mr. Krammy. Yeah. If they're keeping Twig barely alive, maybe we can get an ice bucket. Oh, oh, because they got ice because they need to keep her organs alive long enough to sell them. Not, this is not an organ thing. <laughs> oh, shit, they're harvesting her organs? I mean, as, as far as what I know about bushwhackers, <laughs> it ain't good, all right? Oh, oh Crummy, just, well, it, on the chance that they are bushwhackers that you saw, do you think that there's a chance they might be political reactionary agents sneaking through the woods to commit their assassination on the king, given the chance that we did not get a chance to meet their party and planning and put an end to it and stop to it? Uh, that, that was going to be my deduction as well. Uh, I had considered that they were swamp militia uh, attempting to assassinate the king. Um, but why would they need Twig? It is interesting that they took just Twig and not any of the others of you. And there's blood, too. Uh, close your ears, Pig Two. <coughs> Come on, Pig Two. And they robbed a little house out of a hut bag. I don't know what they took, but they went through it. And speaking of things we should be worried about, is anyone else considering the fact that uh, since we've been tasked by the King of Hearts to do like a whole bunch of shit, we only have 13 days, we've slept it off in a drug mushroom forest for four of them, haven't done anything? Yes, we've lost nine hours. Nine hours? Again? <laughs> yes, we just took a long rest. Oh, fuck, he's right this time. <laughs> we have 12 days remaining. <laughs> All right, Grico, come on, transform. We have to find the 
guys. Okay, let's go. Let's do a little. And I'm gonna. And I'll be. I'll have like these little flappy wings on my back that are very like effectively useless as I'm as I turn to the spiritual version of like a winged boar, and I'll go. And I'll try to sniff around for Kremmy and Gideon. Uh, roll a survival check at advantage. Let's go. Well, while they're on their way over, uh, uh, I'd like we'll to go towards the the see? blood to presumably we've allegedly uh, unalived some uh, people, and I'd like to get a sense of like how much blood it feels like it is. Like, a, like um, mortal roll a medicine wound, check. artery, Ooh. Mm. Uh, like you know, a little scrape. Like she just. I tripped. love that you're still holding the phone up to your ear. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 I forgot I was doing that. I'm just doing that. Oh, 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 oh. Excuse, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah. Wait, any more of those waffles? Excuse me. <laughs> what is it? A medicine check. Cowboy yep. steak for supper. <laughs> Uh, the bully bully jokes. Uh, you mistake me to cowboy. <laughs> you make your way over to Twig's uh, acorn satchel, and you also you pick it up. You put all the contents back into it and toss it over your shoulder, and you see that it has been resting in a small um, a small puddle of blood that uh, over the course of the night has sunk into the, has seeped into the moss uh, and has spread a bit. It's looking at it, it doesn't look like much for you, but for somebody as small as Twig, it looks like it could be quite a lot. Oh. I mean, Grammy, I think Twig's fucked, man. This is like half of the contents of her body right here. You know, it's a lot of blood. That's what I was worried about. What's that, Grimmy? They're probably giving a blood transfusion oh, back to, on keep the phone. Her, to keep her alive. Oh, we've got to hurry. Come on, Gurko. Come on. Find them. 24. Oh, it takes you It takes you 10 minutes. Um, they're, they're like four <laughs> mushrooms. Can you just go around the mushroom yeah. that we're at? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a giant oak tree. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Bursts yeah. through the bush. Yeah. It's Fuck. just the other side. Uh, Hello. Oh my gosh! Oh, hey, what's up, guys? You want some of those waffles? What kind of waffles are they? There's no time. We're worried about Twig, oh, yeah. right? Yeah, there's <laughs> always time for waffles. I'll, I'll there's around. Always time for breakfast. I agree. <laughs> Gideon and Just Frost, eat. listen to yourselves. Eat it off the ground. Let's go. Big Dune, you lead the way. Uh, follow Big Dune. <laughs> We're all doing the anime thing where we have like uh, yeah. oh, 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 yeah. off and yeah. running and following the pig. <laughs> yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Pigtunia takes a while before she actually begins to move. Uh, without Twig telling her where to go or what to do, she doesn't. Um, she's not as good of a of a scout as you would have imagined. But and she doesn't fully understand the instructions that you're giving her, Kremi. But she. She does seem to have some sort of purpose. And mm-hmm. though it takes you a while, I'd say about three hours, you are able to make your way out of the mushroom forest. And as you get towards the crossroads, you see or you hear the um, melancholy tones of the flute played by Coral Hearts Ray um, <laughs> drifting out of the mushroom forest. And you make your way back to the pathway and the direction that you have yet to investigate. Uh, Pig Tunia is in the lead as she leads you across a narrow waterway and towards two buildings. And as she sniffs the air, she turns directly towards the one on the left, completely ignoring the first building that you come to. And she begins to, um, she begins to paw at and uh, bang her head up against the, the door um, as if to, as if to tell you, this is this is the house. This is the house. She wants to get inside. Okay. What's the plan? This is it, boys? We just kick the door in. Okay, Gideon, go and shoot. Yes, fellas. What was? Was that a crossroads? Oh God! Oh no! What's it, happening? It was a crossroads. <laughs> and you, oh, see, no. you see me all of a sudden start to shift. And my flesh turns gray <laughs> and starts to oh, rot. Wow. And my hat turns. Oh, 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 
it gets bigger and turns into a large pirate hat and my snout narrows a little bit, gets a little longer. I shrink a couple inches in height and I grow a couple feet in width. (laughs) (laughs) And my uh, coat turns into a uh, large pirate coat. And uh, all of a sudden you will see in front of you a large rotting undead uh, crocodile pirate man in black and white. Ah! Ah, what? Krabby, what happened to you? Krabby, are you, uh, you look similar but different. <laughs> Very similar but different. Did you, look, is this the Beaselberry waffles? Yeah, you ate a lot of Beaselberry uh, waffles, Krabby. Hey, you smell like Torbeck. <laughs> oh, I've been tracking the potential victim for some days now. What, why are you talking like that? <sighs> what? What? Are you making fun of me? Oh, like Are you making fun of me, Krummy? <laughs> I told you, this is how we talk back in my village. It was moist. What? In the air that day. I never forgot it. I was followed by a, a goon of idiots. They were called deputies in this precinct. Deputies, you say? <laughs> first mate. Deputy- <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a swig from the bottle. <laughs> Stood on a drink then. But I had one goal in mind. It was to find the victim. And her very, very valuable organs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Torbeck thinks he's making fun of Greco. All right, fellas. Yeah, you, you, it's a little longer. What's now. the rap? Ah. What's- on your status report. Our friend is missing, and we have to hurry. Get in, get the get door. Get in, press in. the door down, press right, the door down. All right, he's right in here, man. Hey, do you think if Chuggles was here, he would have said WD's nuts? And I kicked the door out. <laughs> <laughs> well played, Mace. <laughs> a frayed rope tethers a giant toad to a wooden post in the middle of this hut. The toad looks uncomfortable as a pair of sticky, webbed hands push their way out of its mouth. The toad's jaw drops open as it regurgitates a bullywug who falls prone on the floor. (laughs) God damn it! I hate when you do that to me! We are not playing Swallow the Guard anymore! Do you hear me, Blanc? No, no, you will. Hey, what are you doing here? The bullywug turns around and looks at all of you. Oh, you! You right there. Small green one. Oh. I got something for you. Don't get close to... Can you watch him for a second? I'm getting ready to, like, I look like a crossbow. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know what. I'm just so taken aback by what I've seen. Like, oh. Well done, lad. Yeah, yeah. I could have given you oh. a crowbar, though. Uh, oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I grab what he had. What did he have for me? You're the honor to the king. Yeah. Almost. You had a delivery. I haven't been able to leave because Vlunk keeps playing Swallow the Guard. Can you watch him for 10 minutes so uh, I can get on out of here and get your uh, get your delivery? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, for sure, I guess, yeah. Don't get too close to him. He don't He don't know the difference from honor to the king and guard. I've you never too- seen you a day in my life. I really haven't. <laughs> <laughs> And I don't know who you are either. I just know that you're all wearing the pins of the king. And I was told that there's a delivery for the green one. I see the green one right here. And honestly, I'm covered in sick. I want to go take a quick shower. I want to get your delivery. You can watch Blanc. Uh, well, what's the delivery, man? Is it like, you know, a small... I supposed to know? I ain't never name? seen it. What's my name? And then is the king still alive? Where's our I friend? So. Oh, is your name Upgunk? What? Have you seen a small uh, uh, creature, a brownie, uh, in the name of Twig? No, I haven't. You know what's happened to our friend, Kremmy? That's supposed to be Kremmy? You're the guy that won that that uh, Platinum she- Electrum Chef thing. So you have heard of me, but you don't know my fucking name. It's Briggsy the Caper Cratch. <laughs> Briggsy the what? The Caper Cratch, because it's never a caper that I haven't been able to solve or pull off. Ooh. Speaking Uh-oh. of that... 
<laughs> Premi, are you? Do you still have that thing? Well, you're a big rotting chunk uh, chunk of a, a pirate. Can, I'm craving bagels now with capers. <laughs> I looked around the crowd. A lot of confused faces. Clearly, many of these folks haven't seen Edge of Midnight, and they're just really un- not sure what's going on right now. Mm. What? But they'd learn. <laughs> <laughs> We're not supposed to get close to Blanc? <clears throat> yeah, it's the King's Mount. Oh, I'm sure he's not so bad. He just needs some tummy rubs. Uh, I need you to roll <laughs> no. a dexterity saving throw for me, please. Uh, at disadvantage. Because you have gotten within 10 Ooh. feet of Blanc. Mm. Oh, 10 feet, you say? Mm-hmm. You uh, would have to do that to, uh, to pet him. Dexterity saving throw? Yeah. That'll be a 14. Uh, as, um, as this Bullywug is telling you this, you move straight up towards Blanc and you begin to rub the underside of his, of his oh, belly. He just needs tummy rubs. And just as quickly as you do this, a tongue whips out, wraps you up in it, and swallows you whole. We're going to not to get so close to Blanc. I'm gonna go get that thing. Blanc will regurgitate him up in 10 minutes or so. Do I have any sense of where Twig is? I would say it's very clear she's not in here. This is clearly oh, a stable for the King's Mount. Um, and you see that Pigtunia is in the corner um, eating away at a bucket full of feed. Um, and it's very clear that she wanted to get in here because she was hungry. Oh, and this no. is the stables and there's food and all kinds of other things in here that are suitable for a Pigtunia of her nature. Um, and so she's scarfing down the uh, sloth that would have been fed to Vlonk um, as the... Um, as the stable tender uh, makes his way out and uh, heads off into another portion of the uh, of downfall. Oh, no. Another dead end. Hey, lads. What are what? we gonna do? You can hear everything from inside Blanc. You know, the little green guy getting eaten was just enough of a distraction for me to formulate a plan. <laughs> Should yes. we worry he's gonna suffocate? <laughs> hey, weirdly, I trust you to come up with a plan. Please, what is your suggestion? It requires a bit of finesse. Okay. And by that, I mean food and gun, and I shoot the frog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping uh, some sort of gun that shoots voodoo magic. Roll to attack. Well, you have Elders Blast. <laughs> yeah. So Kremi has Elders Blast. With the precision of a sledgehammer. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Can I say that I hex blade cursed you first? <laughs> sure. Oh my god. The king's not gonna like this one. Yeah, uh, this voodoo gun so much. Yeah, I mean. Voodoo gun. We gotta get a. It's basically. Voodoo uh, gun. Crummy's cane just turned into the gun. Yes. Uh, 16 points of damage. Uh, you. Oh, wait, what level are we? Four? Mm-hmm. Okay, 16 points of damage. You, uh, you very quickly um, look towards Blanc, and you produce out of nothing uh, this gun, and you call out Voodoo Gun, and you shoot a you shoot Eldritch Magic towards this entity, and you watch as it it opens its mouth to croak, as two X's appear on its eyes, and it falls over dead. <coughs> Its tongue lolls out of its mouth, its mouth agape, this giant, uh, this giant frog, or I'm sorry, this giant toad mount, uh, Vlonk it had been called, now lays dead on the floor of the stables. Uh, Gricko, you see a beam of light uh, as the mouth opens. You imagine you could crawl out of the stomach of this thing. 
I'm okay. I'm okay. Come to the light. That's not the mouth, Greco. The wrong <laughs> It's all, all you can get out is your head, and now that your head's out, it, it closes around your neck, and you 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 begin to suffocate. You're choking, you're choking it down. Brings you to caper crash, saves another life. Uh, did we kill you? Oh, oh, oh Greco at the what happened? Uh, the wrong end of the frog, and I try and pull him out. What happened? Oh, I will say you're easily with your strength able to pull him out. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, I got all tu- sucking him back. I got all turned around. Uh, I got all turned around. Move the head towards the light, Greg. Right towards the light. I just saw a flash of neon. Oh, and then I suddenly, oh gosh. Oh, uh, what happened? Well, you smell like drunk. Oh, no, I thought they smelled bad on the outside. That's pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Frosty. We're in the wrong place. Yes, we're, we're in Pecunia. What are you leading us here for? Twins not fucking here, and the Cratch just fucking killed the King's Mount, man. This is going south real quick. Breezy, I trusted you, and you killed the king. <laughs> <laughs> the situation Grimmie. reminded me at a time when Grimmie was a poor defenseless animal. A lad from South Carquinos, when we were snorting various powders in a <laughs> dim spice <laughs> den in yeah. our way. Mm. Uh, he told me that drowning was like going home. <sighs> but after seeing that. I think it's more like agony. Why are you talking like this? <sighs> you're, you're just, who are you talking to? Why are you running? How are you alive? <laughs> oh! Did Guru's voodoo magic catch up with him? He just said voodoo gun. Oh, he did say voodoo gun! Oh. Are you, wait, is this what, what happens? What the hell happened to Vlunk? Oh. Vlunk killed himself oh, after yes. he ate oh. Oh, oh, yeah, no. Oh, yeah. He, yeah, he no. swallowed Greco too hard and Greco just shot yeah. him out of his asshole. Yeah. You no. shouldn't have let that happen. I mean, really, it's your I fault. I told you not to get no. close to him. He went on a walk in the woods <laughs> and just say. <laughs> Wrong Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, it just, oh, and he said, oh, I gotta end it all. So that's that's what happened. He's a healthy young frog man. Yeah. He suddenly had a heart attack in yeah. the forest. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> it was a tragic, tragic heart attack. Tragic heart attack. Yep, yep, yep. I don't Detective know how- Cratch, the PD will reimburse you for your mount. I'll let the king know as soon as possible. He's not going to be happy about this. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't execute you. I got... (laughs) I wasn't here. Yeah, you're damn right. Pretty negligent. (laughs) I left him with the king's trusted friends and advisors. I'll deal with it. I got your present, though. Oh, thank you. He holds, he holds out a he holds out a small. Uh, oh, you also <laughs> smell like you get, you, you get it off by fr- friction alone. Just friction, just friction it off. Oh, I got a oh, I got a oh, I got a, a, a giant fly leg in my mouth. All right, all right. It's a hair. <laughs> the longer you delay this, the rarity drops. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Um, it was going to be a much larger box, but now it's a very tiny box. Oh. And he hands it to you. Yeah, that came in for you. Let's see what it is. You open it, and inside is uh, a small patch of hay, and sitting on top of it is a tiny snail with a little ribbon around its neck that says snail number two. Ah! They came through! Snail number two! Ah! It is significantly smaller than you remember, but looking at it, you can tell that this is definitely and very clearly snail number snail two. Snail number two, I could recognize that blue shell anywhere. Oh gosh, it's been so long. I don't know how long it's been in, in your times. Oh, 
I am just a thing. That was like a giant frog, right? That was in yeah. here. Okay, we got plenty Can of room. Can you imagine that you might have gotten a giant snail and you don't kill the giant frog? No, oh, I'm just kidding. He's going to be small. Hold on. I've got just a thing. I'll pull out the little magical saddle that I got 80 months in real time. And I'm going to say, okay, I'm just going to do this. I'll put you to ice snail number two, but you won't recognize him because he's so small. And I'll put the little saddle that I got and I'll place it on him, I'll stand back. And as you do this, you you see as uh, the snail number two moves a little bit, kind of jolty as he gets used to the saddle, and then all of a sudden, whoosh, he fills up this space. And snail number two is exactly the size that you remember him being. <coughs> now a fully fledged mount with the saddle on top. Oh, Woo. yes! Oh, you were a very noble steed. You make me think back to the realm, even though my mind is clear and I'm covered in frog guts. <laughs> Snail number two, I miss you. Oh, can you oh can you clean me up too with your tail your snail flesh? Oh, you are I miss covered you. in snail slime. <gasps> oh God, who'd she say hello to snail number two? Oh, you never got to meet him because you were kidnapped by very nasty people. This is snail number two. This is my daughter Hootsie, snail number two. You are gonna be best friends. It is required by law. Uh, and um, I have a need for speed. <laughs> and I'm going to reach into my uh, pocket and I'm going to say, okay, where are those sunglasses that I uh, wore when I was calling Frost MF? <laughs> and as Gregor oh, is doing farm. this, Gideon, um, Pig Tunia has finished eating and you, you feel a tugging at the hem of your pants as you realize that she is um, biting into your pants and trying to pull you towards the door. Oh. Almost feverishly. Hey, Junior, what's going on? Are we ready? Did, did you get your fucking fill while Twig was being <laughs> bled dry and, and kidnapped? You know where we're going? Okay, fellas. Yeah. Hop on. Highway to the danger zone. As I try and to, you like, do imagine that all of you could fit on top of ah! Fuzz. We got it. Except for Hootsie. Hootsie's too big. So Hootsie will have to stay behind. Well, she can... Well, I mean, follow, follow behind. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fellas, you gotta slow down and stay for Hootsie. All right. And uh, you'll see that these are these broken sunglasses that Frosty had smashed, and I've, like, taped them back together very badly. <laughs> <laughs> it's like riding a very large bike that is actually a mollusk. Let's go. I guess we all get on. Lead the way, big Junior. A ride had arrived. <sighs> you all get atop snail number two. And Gricko takes the harness and he um, uh, he uh, slams down the reins. And you imagine that you're going to jolt forward, but snail number two is not very fast. So you slowly begin to move forward at a snail's pace. Uh, Pig Tunia leading the way. Um, but you, you are able to, once you get immediately outside of the hut, um, or outside of this hut, um, the Bullywug, you can see, is just shaking his head and mumbling to himself, uh, confused at what is happening here as he just brushes it all away, slams the door, and you hear, I gotta clean up a dead body, god damn it! Um, as snail number two takes off after Pigtunia exactly 10 feet in front of you towards the hut that you, or the, the house that you had passed. Um, literally right across the um, the the plank. Or right, right across the um, uh, the walking path. Uh, a mere 10 feet in front of you. Had an engine like a 32 Cadillac. <laughs> and, <laughs> and boy did she I'm a chunk! And you'll see <laughs> <laughs> big chunk of flash as we're flying. There's no time coming we can't oh, go back. No. <laughs> and like, do like oh, and way to the danger zone. It's in the wind and, and clunks <laughs> on the ground. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that looks exposed. <laughs> Ribs and organs inside you. Oh. Are you okay? You never get used to it. <laughs> no, no, I can't imagine that one would. Why Why does that happen? What What has happened to you? Why are you you and not our companion Kremi? What is happening? Torbeck is very sure that's infected. <laughs> we ever do something at a time just feels so good, but <laughs> you get a little bit of clarity and you regret every fucking second of it. <laughs> yeah, How yeah, much time you got? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> that's what happened. <clears throat> well, you've got a little ash in it from the... 
Oh, 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 that's not sanitary. Oh, oh hold on. Whoa, whoa. I'm just saying all of this. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you literally only moved 10 feet. Yeah, 10 feet. feet. Okay. Yeah. We're here. And I'm like pretending as if I'm doing a skid, but it's just like. Your Tokyo drift. As, as snail number two Tokyo drifts to the door, I'll leap off from the back of uh, the Pig snail. Tunya and... is um, essentially right in front of the door and pointing one of her um, one of her hooves out towards the door and oinking at you. I do a diagonal downward area. flaming falcon kick at the door and try and burst it off the table. I too will put one hand on the back of the saddle and flip over and jump to the back of the stairs just behind Gideon. And... Oh! <laughs> oh, there's so much. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, 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 will very calmly and safely dismount from his tail and just calmly follow you. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll uh, grab the side of my uh, sunglasses and I'll uh, I'll take them off and put them in my vest as I try to slide down and do something really cool. But it's like, I'm like, oh, hold on. <laughs> Okay, it's kind of awkward. Okay, good. Okay, <laughs> thanks, Neil Number Two. You wait out of here, <laughs> and I'm gonna try to like to kind of tuck and roll awkwardly uh, towards Gideon. As I'm flying through the the air to kick in the door, you hear no, 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 with, with that kind of momentum, you are able to kick in the door. Um, you you slam through the door, Pig Tunia falling behind you. Uh, Gricko rolls in after. Kremi uh, moves in um, like a like a secret agent with his voodoo gun out. Um, Torbeck calmly and carefully walks into the room. <laughs> 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 Hobbles in, in, having uh, stubbed his toe. Oh, my right, eye, my right foot hurts so badly. <laughs> I'm just so glad I haven't stubbed mine. Oh! <laughs> as, uh, as you make your way into into this, um, as you make your way into this house, the hut itself has a steep thatched roof. A small wooden chest rests in the middle of the floor and scattered around it are six fraying silk cushions. The air in here carries the stench of decaying fish. A lit brazier hangs from a rafter, providing the dwellings only light. Standing just inside the door is a jittery bullywug with a spear. And behind this guard is a wooden crate with hunting gear piled atop it. Huddled in the back of the hut are four more bullywugs. Tension hangs heavy in the air as one of the huddled bullywugs signals you motions from one way to the next tells you to be quiet and points up towards the rafters rafters above and as you look up you see two more bullywugs both of their arms wrapped tightly around a small burlap sack that's shaking and rocking this way and that and you hear and from from behind them you see a bullywug jump down and take a crouching position onto the floor in front of you as he stands up he says Hello, I'm Illig. I've been looking for you. And if you don't do as I say, I will kill your friend. And that is where we'll end tonight's session. Oh, thanks for running the session, Nikki. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> oh, we're not done. I have to use a little bug burger for him. Yeah. <clears throat> Go for it. Thank you. <laughs> What's next, mate? Avengers and chill. We're going to answer your questions. It's true. <laughs> and we're going to chill and tell you talk about a few moments. So, what do we have coming up? This Sunday, right? This coming well, Sunday. T- tomorrow. Oh, what's tomorrow? We have our Sapphire Eagle Plus Discord Patreon voice chat. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right? Oh. Yes. At 730, I think. <clears throat> yes. Uh, so, for all you eagles and above, we're going to hang out and chat in Discord uh, in voice chat. So, we have so. Patreon. You can you, and you can do it even during it, and you'll get access. So if you want to be an eagle, fly like an eagle into the sea. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. do fly it. Fly like an eagle. And I don't know. Remember the rest. Let of your spirit. Let your, let your spirit. Something carry, carry me. Mm-hmm. Anyways, mm-hmm. I'm going to fly. Like an eagle. Oh, that'll be awesome. And then Memorial Day weekend. Again, or Sunday. This Sunday. 
is Sunday. our uh, Sunday Patreon, Patreon hangout, which is for dolphins. Pearl Dolphins, Pearl and, dolphins higher. and Higher. So check it out. And that's more of like a kind of like a, it's like a two, two and a half hour stream where we hang out around the table. We answer all your questions. We just kind of chill and uh, it's a little more, you know, intimate crowd. We can really focus on chat and just kind of hang out. Um, that's on Patreon, but it will you can sort of chat with us via YouTube uh, live chat. And then on Monday, Monday, what's Monday? Mon Monday, Monday, Monday is the first episode of our weekly talk show, Neon Nights and Avengers talk show. So it's going to be the first uh, episode of that. You know, our first uh, iteration of adding new regular streaming content for you all. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. We'll be hanging out. We'll be talking D&D. &D, we'll be talking other topics. And he's basically hosting it. We're all going to goof off. Uh, you know, we're a bunch of mediocre, middle-aged uh, men. Oh, so we have to have a least. podcast and talk about <laughs> it. We're middle-aged uh, Yeah. Oh, you know, we're middle-aged. Yeah. We're, we're, we're it's we're middle aged. Third aged. Uh, and to make it past 70. I mean, Christ. Yeah, yeah, you know. Anyway, so that's Monday. And then on Wednesday, we're back. So we got a lot of content, especially if you're a patron. That's so right. check out that Patreon. We also have an awesome merch store, Beezleberry merch incoming. I don't know. That's something. Please. Uh, we got to thank uh, And we got to thank folks. Before we move over, right? And <clears throat> don't forget about July 22nd. Oh! July 22nd. Oh. Big announcement. July 22nd. Join us for the new campaign. Rhapsody. Stardust Rhapsody, a Cosmic Odyssey, brand new campaign, uh, July 22nd. Space. Okay, this could pull up. And what else? Yeah, so very excited for that. And um, uh, yes, we monthly on Saturdays, DM by Mace, playing some spacey characters with some pretty decent changes to the party in yeah. terms of theming and flavor. And they're enhanced. Added enhanced. three whole yeah, no, all, dimensions. All we're doing is turning the volume up. Yeah, in my yeah. 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 We're just doing the advantage process. We're just doing the advantage process. So if you haven't yet, check out um, the what the one shot it has two parts on YouTube. It is called On Silver awesome Strand. Strand. On it. YouTube, two there. parts. And uh, yeah, it's going to be some flavor, flavorful space. Let's thank people and then we're good. Real quick, we're going to thank some folks. We uh, Ragnar McLeod rated Ooh. us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Sloss with ADHD, cheer 500 bits, says, I found yeah. I, I still had some bits rattling around, so here's a haiku. Thank you. Best fam to watch stream. Oops, spilled my drink on my phone. Need to a towel. <laughs> <laughs> Need to a towel. Mr. Fine. Mr. Apple. Fine Apple. Give it five stars. So and while we're at it, also, I just want to say how fucking close we are to our next goal. So before we go, we can get, we can get, even during Adventure to Chill, yeah. we'll reveal it. If we can get, what is it, 34, 34 more, subs. more subs. We are so, so fucking close. close. <laughs> Holy fuck. Um,.